Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Morning, morning everybody. Oh, I've got that croaky voice, haven't I? After a hard night of partying, not really. Morning everybody, welcome to Sewing Street. I'm Stuart Hillard and it's my birthday. I'm gonna take that off for a second. I won't put it back on the cake. <laughs> That would be unsavoury, wouldn't it? Although I have reason to believe that this is, is a cake for one because there's no knife with it to cut it into slices. So I'm assuming I am literally just meant to pick it up and eat it. Well, we'll see, won't we? <laughs> All right, well, thanks for joining me and thank you for the lovely birthday messages already. Uh, Sandra's got in touch to say, good morning, birthday boy, have a good one. Claire says, happy birthday, Stuart. Fiona says, happy birthday, Stuart. Laurie says, happy birthday, lovely Stuart. Have a great day. Thank you so much, everybody. Andrea's got in touch to say, good morning, happy birthday, Stuart. Pam says, morning, birthday boy. Mwah, mwah. Mwah. Thank you so much. What a lovely way to start the day. Another great way to start the day, of course, is our early bird. So let's do it. Our early bird today, I'm there for this. I'm there for this. Love, love, love this bag. It's the tapestry tote bag from our gorgeous Wendy Orlando. It's a beaut. It's an absolute beaut. Um, 
really gorgeous, stylish, smart bag, made using tapestry fabrics with some cotton lining and lovely detailing. You've got a great over the shoulder strap. You've got handles to carry it by your side. You've got sturdy outdoor, out, outdoor, <laughs> sturdy outside pockets. <laughs> Uh, beautiful great pattern this is the kind of thing you're going to make again and again and again and it should be 9.99 but it's our early bird which means it's not 9.99 at all it's actually 6.99 that is a bargain absolutely brilliant grab that what a useful bag pattern to have Again, works really well with tapestry. You could make this with all sorts of other fabrics, but little hint now, this first hour is all about tapestry fabrics and we have got some gorgeous, gorgeous tapestry. Uh, got some messages. Let's do messages. Happy birthday, Stuart. Have a fabulous day. Amanda in Swansea. Mwah. Thank you, darling. Another one. Happy birthday, Stuart. Have a great day from Anne in the West Midlands. Thank you, Anne. That's really lovely. Come on, keep them coming. Stuart, what a gorgeous man you are. I'm going to take that. Thank you. Many happy returns on this, your special day, Hazel. Oh, thanks, Hazel. That's lovely. Thank you. Um, I'm feeling 52 this morning, but I'll get over it. Good morning, lovely Stuart. Happy birthday. Thank you, Kerry. More. I want more. I'm putting the... This is going back on. Happy birthday, Stuart. Mine too. And everyone else today. Your birthday too, Leela. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Stuart. You don't look a day over 21. Karen, I think it's time for a new telly, but I'm going to take it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's really kind. Thank you. Some lovely birthday messages on um, Facebook as well. Uh, let me find. Now, June has messaged in to say happy birthday, Stuart. Patricia's message to say happy birthday, Stuart. Lots of love from Blackpool. Thank you, darling. Sue says happy birthday, Stuart. Ketty says happy birthday, Stuart. Pam says morning birthday, boy. Andrea says uh, good morning, happy birthday, Stuart. I think I might have read that one already, but hey. Uh, Kat says good morning and a fabulous happy, happy birthday, Stuart. Can you top yesterday's show? what a giggle have a lovely day we'll do our best we'll do our best hell says happy birthday Stuart have a great day those wine glasses there I'm with you Kirsty says good morning Stuart happy birthday have a wonderful day Sue good morning Stuart have many happy returns of the day hope you get everything you ever wanted love you I'm here with friends that's that's a great start it's a great start. Out for dinner with my husband, Charlie, tonight. Donna says, happy birthday, Stuart. Have a fantastic day. Sarah says, happy birthday, Stuart. Love you. Hilary says, happy birthday, lovely Stuart. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, oh, lovely. We've got a bumper morning. We've got a bumper morning. Uh, should we do the menu or should we? Let's do the menu. Let's do the menu. <laughs> okay, 8 a.m. We're starting off with tapestry fabrics. Absolutely perfect for bag making and upholstery home deck. At 9 o'clock, Delphine Brooks is here. Special request from me. We've got her beautiful moth cushion. Check this out. It is beaded. It is lame. It's glamorous and gorgeous. And a little bit 1930s, I feel. Very, very on trend. Grab that one while you can. We've got quite limited quantities on that. So if you love the look of that and there are a few colour options, check out the website and get your order in. Now then, at 10 o'clock, we've got designer fabrics and we have got some gorgeous and I mean gorgeous bundles K Facet, Tim Holtz, Riley Blake we've got some delicious fabrics there now at 11 Delphine Brooks is back with her Bohemian Tassel Cushion Collection and I am all over these. For a start, they're gorgeous. I love how they look, but also I want to make them and I want to make them now. They look like serious fun, if that isn't a contradiction in terms. I'm going to be making tassels. I'm going to be getting my pom-poms out. Yes, set record. 
it's going to be a bumper show and then at 12 o'clock now it sounds a bit dull doesn't it sewing machines but because it's my birthday i'm just going to do i'm just going to do what i like so at 12 o'clock i'm going to get the brother 680 plus the brother the elner 680 plus i've got my quilt layered up already and i'm gonna do a bit of a free motion quilting class okay so if you want to learn some new techniques or practice your machine quilting your free motion quilting stay around for the 12 o'clock i'll show you all about one of my absolute favorite machines one of the machines i have at home and in my studio and that i use all the time and we'll have a proper good old hour playing with a sewing machine now let's jump to the website and, and let me show you how you can shop um, so if you go to www.sewingstreet.com and then click on watch live, we'll pop up. Hello, hello, hello. Um, for a start, there's a little box here you can get in touch. What does that say? Birthday, yes. Ben's in today, so expect more of that. And then if you scroll down, you'll, well, you will see two columns. Today's show deals, that's everything we've had on air so far. And then on the right hand side, coming up on today's shows. So this is what we used to call pre-order. Um, so jump on there if you think there might be anything that you'd like to order for later. Jump on to the, the uh, coming up. At, we've got some great tapestry fabrics. I can't wait to show these to you. Um, and then if you scroll down, be quicker, Ben, come on, come on. I know you've got a poorly finger, but he has got a poorly finger. Poor thing. Um, we've got some lovely rainbow fabrics. We've got beautiful. Now, these are the kits for the moth cushion with Delphine. Pattern on its own. The what's sold out? Oh, yeah. Delphine's here. The bond web's gone. Um, but some, some great kits from her. Then we've got that designer fabric hour. We've got some bundles from K Facet. We've got the Tim Holtz bundles. I'm just gonna give you a little heads up. There might be a few price drops in that hour. So um, my favorite Tim Holtz. Uh, some lovely little bundles there as well. Some great rainbow fabric from Riley Blake. So check all that out. And then moving down, we've got the Bohemian Tassel Cushion Collection with Delphine. We've got kits, we've got um, notions. For example, now just stop a second, go back up, that pom-pom maker, grab it now, grab it now. How many of those have we got? We've only got double figures of that. That will sell out before we get to the hour. If you want your pom-pom maker from Clover, I remember when Kirsty Allsop did that and the whole country went nuts for pom-pom makers at Brill. And then there's that special offer on the Elna 680 Plus. It's the Stuart Hillard special offer. Um, you get 50, no, I can't read, 59, thank you. 59 pounds worth of freebies. And they're all Stuart Hillard freebies, panels, patterns, things like that from me. And you also get 40 pound credit back into your account immediately to spend at Sewing Street. So it's like getting 40 pounds cash back, yeah, to spend at Sewing Street plus 59 pounds worth of freebies. So that sounds like 99 pounds worth of offers to me. And that's the day. So let's do it. Helen's got in touch to say happy birthday, Stuart. Have a good day. It started very well, Helen. It started very well. Right, don't forget the um, early bird is the tapestry tote bag with detachable handle for $6.99. You're making a fantastic sa a saving of three pounds there on Wendy Orlando's great pattern. Really like that. Now, I wanna start with a couple of sort of panels. Um, here they are. I'm gonna show you this one first. You're gonna love these there and they are such a bargain check this out so it is kind of like the seasons in a tree make an amazing cushion front or a bag front uh, you could integrate this into a quilt look at the price 2.99 2.99 for this and i just love it now what a great way to sort of inspire a bag i would pick out either your favorite colors from one side of the tree or the other you've got the kind of warm and cool or just go wild and use all those different colors 
do some piecing up the sides, make a, a, a big tote bag. We've got very limited quantities of this. It's a real bargain. If you make to sell, this is where your profit is in buying panels like this because that's going to look amazing made up as either a cushion with a nice piped edge to it tapestry back right or a bag half the stocks in baskets we had decent stocks but half the stocks already gone grab it while you can 2.99 uh, it's cheaper than postage <laughs> at the end of the day now you're going to love this one too exactly the same sort of idea but done now this reminds me of sort of jacobean cruel work it's almost like a tree of life isn't it do you know what i mean love that this is the only other tapestry panel like a standalone panel that we've got so i think particularly makers and sellers multi-buy on this and the last one that sort of autumn spring winter summer tree um amazing amazing so i would make this up as a cushion front and i would still even though it's a tapestry i'd put a bit of um h640 probably on the back you could quilt it if you want to you don't have to but you could quilt it if you wanted to or at the very least i might perhaps put like a double tram line around the outside edge Trim that down um, and then I would add piping cord, covered piping cord, and I'd use a quilt weight cotton. I'd just pick out one of the colours, maybe something like that, to do a little piping, do you know what I mean, all around the edge. But you could pick out one of the blues, the green, the gold, the amber, any of those colours to, to go with. And then you could use either a plain cotton on the back or a tapestry fabric on the back. And I reckon you'd have no problem putting 25 pounds on that cushion. We've got 20 of these left. Let me tell you, we've got 70 of these in baskets. So you must check out your basket. Be quick, be quick. I'll leave that there for a second, but be quick on that one. I'll read a few birthday messages. Oh, and a question. Happy birthday, Stuart. Could you please let me know how much fabric I would need for the tapestry bag? I've ordered the pattern, but need the fabric. Of course I will. Right. That's a really good question, actually. Who was that from? June. June. I should have said that. Thank you. Right, you need half a metre of main fabric and it needs to be extra wide. The tapestries are, so you're good with that. Half a metre. Then you need half a metre of contrast fabric. And if I just show you the front, that's this fabric right here. You could use a quilt weight cotton for that. Okay. Um, and then you also need half a metre of wadding and some swivel clips and some D rings. To, to attack but yeah half a meter of outer half a meter of contrast half a meter of wadding that's easy isn't it awesome three of these left two of these left one of these left but a bum bum but a bum boo all right okay and the other one the autumn winter spring and summer i want to sing now all you gotta do is call and i'll be there yes i will there's six left 51 in baskets oh my goodness me wow okay right i'll pop that away i was going to get one of those but i'm not now now let's talk tapestry fabrics that you could use on the back of those um, panels for making bags i'm going to start with a few of my favorites because these are absolute doozies i'm going to go a bit geometric to start with and i'll show you the first three that i've picked so that you get an idea of where i'm going with this all right so i'm going to start with this one which is ending zero two four zero two isn't that delicious that's everything i love about tapestry fabric in one fabric it's gorgeous isn't it that's the price for half a meter by the way 5.99 which is 
amazing. Um, you've got a really lovely weight of fabric there. It's really nice and sturdy, still soft and pliable. And the underside looks great too, doesn't it? Um, but this is absolutely perfect for things like if you want to recover a stool or a chair or um, an ottoman, something like that, that looks amazing. Drop seats in dining chairs, um, you know, can transform the look of your dining table and it will take you half an hour. Literally cut a piece bigger, wrap it under and staple. Just staple around the bottom. That's all I do. You can do a little calico, then cover. Turn the edge under and, and put that over the top to neaten it if you want to. Mostly I don't bother because who looks under a chair? Um, but really gorgeous. But then great for tote bags, weekend bags. If you've got my bags for life, this is ideal. Width-wise, this fabric is 54 inches wide. So an extra wide upholstery. Amazing value at $5.99. Awesome messages, thank you. Good morning, Stuart. A very happy birthday, lovely man. Such lovely panels and fabric. How is the baby goat from Welsh Mary? Oh, little Kofi is absolutely gorgeous. He is so bonny. He is so full of energy. And mum, Heidi, it's first time mum, and she is like exceptional she is so loving she's so attentive she's brilliant she seems to be really enjoying having him as well so it's just delightful thank you thank you and he's so cuddly and he smells like a puppy do you know what i mean just lovely we're loving it right i pop that to one side now i might have muddled these two codes up ben so i apologize this is five eight four five eight four four six. I have muddled the bags. Thank you. Uh, oh no, this bag is four two one. Oh, actually, maybe these bags have got nothing to do. No, I haven't muddled them. You see, these bags are for something else. They were just. Oh, they're the little panels. I'll be back. I'll be back. Sorry. <laughs> right. Let's do four, four, six. Thank you. Right. This is gorgeous. Bigger scale. And these are all um, 54 wide. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? Very, very popular already on pre-order this one. Oh, 56 inches wide that. Really nice and sturdy. If you wanted to make shopping bags, trolley bags, you know, bags for the back of the car, that kind of thing, storage bags as well, um, you wouldn't need to line them if you didn't want to. You'd need to either overlock or over edge stitch or maybe bind the internal seams or you could do French seams to neaten them. But just from a functional point of view and from a sturdiness point of view, you wouldn't need to. And also, if you on the sort of maybe like lighter weight bag where you might just use interfacing, uh, you wouldn't need to do that with this. Now, if you were going to make something like a sturdy weekender bag, you probably would interface or bosel or wadding. If you want padding, fair enough. But so that means that the bags you make are quicker, easier. Again, if you make and sell, if you're not having to include things like interfacing, your cost to make has come down. So, you know, there's real advantages to using this fabric. And it's also, it looks very professional. Do you know what I mean? If you make these up nicely, you could put a bit of PU or pleather along the bottom, make a very nice handbag. Very nice. Over half the stock of that already gone and checked out. So it's going to be a very, very busy hour. Now, this one always does extremely well. It's very, very usable easy to use this one this ends 14 yeah nice still i always think of uh, harlequin when i see this um it's got that lovely sort of faceted almost like jewels now um yesterday of course i had my messenger bag on and i had quite a few conversations after the show with viewers who got in touch 
chatting about the messenger bags in my book bags for life. This fabric is absolutely brilliant for things like messenger bags, shoulder bags, crossbody bags, duffels, rucksacks. But I mean, how stylish, how gorgeous. And again, if you don't want to line the project, so long as you finish those seams inside neatly, um, it looks attractive, it's nice and sturdy, um, you can get away with it. Love that. More of this in baskets than we have. I told you it always sells out, always. It's such a versatile and easy to use fabric that. Now then, I wanna go a little bit wilder now. Yeah. Why not? Well, this is gorgeous and you're gonna absolutely adore this one. I mean, hello, hello, hello. This is ending 432. Look, it's got bags all over it. <laughs> Let's see how quickly this sells out. <laughs> Isn't that fabulous? It's a bit like I feel today, all bags. <laughs> I'm gonna spend the whole morning with my face like this so you can't see them. I'm a little bit, am I? Uh, do you know, I keep looking in the monitor and I think, am I as shiny at home as I look in my monitor? I look really shiny. I'm not, am I? <laughs> Who cares? Right, this fabric is gorgeous. Look at this. Look at this, I love it, I absolutely love it. Now this, of course, it, it would be so much fun to make into bags, wouldn't it? Bags with bags on it. Uh, I think it's terrific. But also, I think this would be really lovely to use for home decor. I think it would make a fantastic Roman blind. Yeah, you imagine that sort of... Uh... Oh, it's just sold out. <laughs> I said, should we wait and see how long it takes? I knew it'd sell out really quickly. Well done if you got that. Well done if you got that. Yeah, it is. It's fab, isn't it? Really gorgeous. Now, I'm going to jump back to the two original panels that we started the hour with because I've got coordinating fabrics that go with. So if you went for those panels, we're very limited. 430. So this is that... Um, autumn, winter, summer, spring tree, but now done on a much smaller scale as an all over. I'll just pop my hands there so you can see the sort of size. Haven't even started looking at the uh, ones that were sure a little William Morrissey, and we've already had loads of sellouts, so it's going to be a busy hour this one. I love the underside, the wrong side, and there's nothing wrong about that side, is there? It's really beautiful, but there are only six units left. Um, that one will, five units, four, three, <laughs> okay, right, all right. Okay, okay. The other one, we've only got eight left now. This is the um, sort of tree of life. Is it a palampore, they call it, fabric? Palampore, I think. Um, tree of life. Six of these left now. It's very elegant, isn't it? It's sort of fresh and light. There's four left now. Just four and three. Okay, all right. Well done if you got yours. We don't do tapestry fabric often enough. It's really lovely and... Um, you know, popular. I'm going to do some florals next. These are, um, I think these are a bit William Morrissey, aren't they? I'm going to put these four actually in next and I'll just show you where we're going with this. I just, I'm dazzled by those colours. Let's start with butterflies. Let's start with butterflies. It, uh, it is. Oh, it's literally sold out, just, sorry. That's lush. Well done if you spotted that on the website. Do you know, that's just a reminder, isn't it? Because I, I, I'll be honest with you, I'd be like, oh, I'm just gonna sit and wait till it's on the show. Personally, that's what I do. I wouldn't look, because I don't, I'm not a great one for scrolling through websites. But actually, that's just reminded me, you can miss out so quickly. This one, Oh, now I wasn't expecting that. This ends 6-9. 
Only eight of these left. That's delicious. Now, when I saw just a little bit of it, I saw these little florals and I thought, okay, little ditzy all over. But look at these lovely trees with fantasy birds and flowers. It's very Jacobean. It's rich. That's lovely. Really lovely. I'm going to leave that with you because again, it's going to sell out. There's two left. <laughs> right, let's go. Soup. Oh, why have I only just unfolded these? Ending six, seven. Oh my goodness. Check that out. That is beautiful. I'm in love. I'm in love. That is absolutely delicious. Um, and do you know what? We're not going to stay at $7.99. We're going to do a price crash. Why? Oh, okay. Because it's my birthday. I don't appear to have had a piece of cake yet. You, can... You, can I just say that's just anyway five ninety nine. Wow, I love it. I love it. Um, again, you know, home deck upholstery projects, of course, really easy to cover a footstool. Most of them, it's literally just fabric stretched over and uh, kind of neaten up the corners. Maybe do a little folded corner like a hospital bed corner, um, and then staple around the bottom and then some braid to cover the staples. You can glue it on, you can use upholstery pins. I mean, purists, of course, will do it really carefully and use all the proper techniques. I'm about, you know, a quick, gorgeous result. Um, and that's how I do it. But I mean, really lovely to freshen up a piano stool. Again, as I say, Roman blind, beautiful. If you're doing a Roman blind, this is the really good news. Um, this is extra wide. I'm going to tell you the width just to confirm that I think it's 55. Over a quarter of the stock's already gone. We had lots of this because we knew it was going to be really popular. 55 inches wide. So the good news is if you're making Roman blinds or curtains, father-in-law, I'm thinking of you here now, curtains, mm, very nice. Um, you don't need to join for a Roman blind. I mean, I, to be honest with you, I wouldn't do a Roman blind that was wider than about 50 inches. You know, if you're obviously lots of windows are wider, but that's when you do two or three Roman blinds. So from that point of view, amazing. If you're doing curtains, um, you want, well, minimum one and a half widths of the of the window. Um, most windows you're going to want, uh, worst curtains, you're going to want two, two and a half, three times the width. But when you're starting with a 55 inch width and at 5.99, this is something you could, oh, half the stock's gone now. Wow. Yeah, it is really beautiful, isn't it? But then, of course, let's bring it back to things like bags and, you know, lovely projects that, that we as craft sewers, me as a craft sewer would enjoy making. Um, awesome for your bags, your cushions. Again, think about doing that bit of piping. Or if you don't want to do piping round the edge, okay, so I just want a little bit of that to creep in. See, that's delicious, isn't it? Really lovely. Um, but if you don't want to do piping cord, covered piping cord, you could layer it up with the backing, your envelope back or your zip back, right sides on the outside. Sew all around, less than a quarter of an inch all the way around, and then bind the edge. Do like a quilt binding around the edge. It has a very similar effect to piping cord, but it's just a bit of a different look. This would also look really lovely with one of those sort of commercially made cords, like a nice burgundy or a gold cord all around the outside edge. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I've got another colourway of this to show you. 
So before this one sells out, let me show you the other colorway, which I know you're also going to love. And we're going to match the price. $5.99 per half meter for this. Now, if you missed out on the butterflies, I think you'll really love this because it's that soft, slaty, gray blue background, which I just think is so elegant. Isn't that beautiful? Now, instantly that's making me feel, I'm getting Marie Antoinette vibes from that and I'm not really sure why, but I just think that is gorgeous. While you just look at that loveliness, I'm going to read a few more messages. I've had a poem, everybody. I've had a poem from Steph. Roses are red, violets are blue. Happy birthday, Stuart. We love you. Oh, that's gorgeous. Thank you, Steph. Oh, oh Rebecca Harrison's got in touch. Morning, Rebecca. She says, happy birthday, Stuart. And a big cake with candles. Love it. Laurie says, you're not shiny, Stuart. You're glowing. So I am a bit then. <laughs> uh, Rachel says, happy birthday, Stuart. I've been 21 for the last 42 years. That's fabulous. I love it. I love it. Maria says, happy birthday. Very talented, Stuart. Have a lovely day. Thank you, sweetheart. Lynn Tewitt's got in touch. Have a great birthday, Stuart. I had to catch up on yesterday's shows. So many helpful hints and tips. Thank you. Oh, and talking of thank yous, look what's just arrived. Thank you, Michael. And a cup of tea, of course. Don't get it on the fabric. Don't get it on the fabric. Fiona says, happy birthday, Slim Jim. Just tuned in. By the sound of your voice, it sounds like last night was quite an evening. I'm a bit croaky this morning, aren't I? It's the air conditioning. It's the air conditioning. Joanne says, happy birthday. Hope you will have time to celebrate. Oh, I will. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Charlie and I are going out tonight for a gorgeous meal. Went out with all the team um, last night, which was great fun. And then I'm going to spend the weekend murdering my friends. Um, don't panic. We're having like a murder mystery uh, weekend. So that will be great fun. We're doing our very own glass onion. Um, I'm playing an Irish pathologist. Don't ask. There will be pictures online. <laughs> uh, Pop and Matic says, happy birthday, sweet, sweet Stuart. Thank you. Uh, Anne says, happy birthday, Stuart. Thank you, darling. Helen says, happy birthday, Stuart. Have a good day. Oh, what a lovely start to the day. Lisa Lamb's got in touch. Morning, Lisa. Happy birthday, Slinky Stuart. Please do a bit of a birthday bop for us. Oh, I need birthday music for that, surely. Is there any... Do we need a bit of birthday? Oh! <laughs> I thought you were blowing up balloons. That was a disco, really. <laughs> oh, sad piano. We had lovely birthday boppy music yesterday. Find that, please. <laughs> um, well, Happy birthday, Stuart, from Michelle. Thank you very much. Sue says, hope you have a lovely day, Stuart. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Lisa, we'll find some boppy music and I shall bop around in a minute. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll find it. We'll find it. Anyway, back to this gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. Can I give a stock update, please? Half the stock's gone. Half the stock. How much in baskets? Oh, another quarter of it's in baskets. This is going to sell out as well. Everybody multi-buying. Everybody multi-buying. Because, of course, you could do... See, I'd want to do big cushions, like 20-inch cushions with this, really. So you could do one, two... Well, you get two fronts per half metre. So you'd want at least a metre to do four. And if you want six, then a metre and a half. So, but yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Even for bags, I'd be buying a metre of this. Sue says that tapestry is lush. That's a really good way to describe it, Sue. It is lush. Loving it, loving it. We're getting very, very limited on those. Yeah, we've seen a lot of sellouts. That butterfly has gone as well, of course. Right, some now, which now these are very sort of 
Italian terrazzo, I feel. Do you know what I mean though? They're giving me that sort of Italian marble. I've got a small glass of grappa. I'm sitting outside a cafe. Most people are walking past and thinking, oh, he looks lovely, who's that? <laughs> I would be so unstylish in Italy, wouldn't I? Everybody's stylish in Italy. I'd be sitting there like some little lump slurping on my cappuccino but anyway I can fantasize look this is gorgeous let's start with this one right here I love the colors of this as well they're really sort of soft and muted and I love the fact that you've got a little bit of sort of fading in and out of color I just think it's beautiful absolutely beautiful and then that soft golden outline on all of these designs again the back side is gorgeous that's what they'd be saying if i was in italy <laughs> <laughs> well i'd like to think that's what they'd say anyway who knows who knows but isn't it isn't it go isn't that gorgeous <laughs> look at that it's beautiful it's beautiful i do think that's gorgeous though lovely and soft almost sort of salmony and soft teal that lovely soft green just beautiful i'm imagining that gorgeous um makers stand at a craft market with beautiful cushions and bags and bolsters and door stops yeah made in all these different tapestry fabrics just all selling like hot cakes. Hot, hot cakes with a gorgeous backside. If everybody checks out, that is gone. That is, was it the gorgeous backside that did it for you? <laughs> now this next one has got sort of clamshell realness going on. 418s. But again, it's those beautiful soft colors it's almost sort of um, fish scales, isn't it? Really, really lovely. Eight units left. That is literally four meters. What are we gonna do for the rest of the hour? I'll sing. No, switch your television back on quickly, please. Please, I'm begging you. Um, it is lovely. I'll just show you the gorgeous reverse. I've reined myself in, I've reined myself in. But again, 55 wide, absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Three units of that left. Please be quick if that's in your basket. Right, the last one of that style, again, very Italiano. Little Vincent, this is called. <laughs> oh, Little Vincent, do you remember? Oh, cheeky, little smile. I was on that tricycle. It's a whole world, isn't it? Love that. But again, bags, bolsters, cushions, beautiful projects. That's lovely. That is lovely. It's, it's really asking to be cut nice and straight. When you cut it, take your time, nice and straight. Um, a little pro tip here now, if you're bag making with this or doing cushions, things like that, if you've got an overlocker, overlock your pieces before you start constructing. Um, tapestry fabric is frayy, so if you overlock your edges or if you've got an over edge stitching foot like you get on a 680 plus, stick that on uh, with some thread, grey thread, whatever, brown thread, it doesn't really matter. Over edge stitch all your pieces before you start constructing. I know that's a little extra step and we don't normally do it, but you, you'll thank me. And then you won't have to deal with threads while you're constructing. It's minimal really, but I'd still do it. I'd still do it. Um, Kathleen's got in touch, she's in Cornwall. Oh, Kathleen, I love Cornwall. Happy birthday, Stuart. Hope you enjoy your birthday and have a lovely weekend. Thank you so much. And oh, I didn't mention as well um, that, of course, if you buy anything today, if you shop with us today, you'll get yourself a pin badge 
check check this out check this out oh in fact check this out um happy birthday Stuart shop today to get free pin badge while stocks last I'll just show you look come close there it is now you won't get this one that says it's my birthday so <laughs> give me the cake you'll get one of these which has my favorite rainbow and it says Sewing Street. And in very, very small and discreet letters, it says Stuart Hillard. I was concerned that everyone was going to be walking around with a name badge on. People would be saying, I bumped into Stuart Hillard last week in Northern Ireland. And he was a 27-year-old woman. <laughs> <laughs> but it's quite discreet. So there we are. And they're exclusive and, and limited. So worth having. Uh, I'll leave this one with you. We've got two tapestry fabrics left. We've got one of them left because one of them sold out. Is it the round ones? The round ones sold out, yeah. Yeah. So this last one, oh, this is a bit Miro, I feel. It's all kind of angular and stunning. It's called Leonardo. Well, I was right with the sort of artistic... Wasn't I? I suppose little Vincent. Oh, I was just, I thought you were going to the fabric then. Did you see me sliding off to get a bite of cake? <laughs> oh, okay. It's your birthday. It's my birthday, Michael. I'm just eating it and that's that. I'm wearing a tiara. Mmm. That's good cake. I just, what do you mean it's not bad? That cake's mine, Ben. Have you been eating it already? You caught yourself out there, mate. Yummy. If you can't eat cake for breakfast on your birthday, there's something wrong with the world. It's not a world I want to be part of. That's lovely. Again, it's got those gorgeous, soft, um, marbly tones to it, hasn't it? That gorgeous sort of green, almost that malachite green. Mmm, get me on jewellery maker. <laughs> a malachite, an Amazonite bit there. Can I just, while I'm here, can I just show you this beautiful, our beautiful Susie f uh, made this. And it's Amazonite for me for my birthday. And it's from John as well, from our gorgeous John Scott, with Amazonite and turquoise. Isn't that beautiful? Charlie got me these, by the way. Aren't they lovely? Um, but yeah, as a little, just got to mention that. We've got some talented people and some kind and lovely people here. Beautiful. Did we? Did we have Susie on air? Oh, I love Susie. She's fabulous. She's fabulous. Talking of fabulous, this fabric, just beautiful. We've had so many sellouts. Don't miss out on that one, will you? Now, I want to jump to something quite different because it's beautiful and because I love it and I know that you will love it too. It's a Hoffman Barley Pop. Now, I'll grab the nicely packaged one because this is what you'll get. But trust me, this is what it will turn into because you won't be able to resist opening it. Now, Hoffman of California are world renowned. They are industry leaders for barley um, fabrics. And in particular, for me, their watercolours, their 1895 watercolours have been a staple of mine for 20 plus years. They are absolutely glorious. This is a collection that's called Rainbow Sweets. It is utterly delicious. And this is two and a half inch strips. You get 40 of them in the pack. And um, they're all different. They're all different. So these reds are not the same. You get, look at these. My strippity doodah bag. My Rainbow Hearts quilt. I had a lovely message recently from a viewer who's making the Rainbow Hearts quilt for her son, um, which I cannot wait to see. And I hope, I know he's gonna love it, but what a glorious thing to make for someone. Look at these. 
juicy, 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 juicy. Um, did you see the look that John gave me yesterday when I said that? I said, I say that about fabric all the time. He said, do you? Do you? I said, I do, John. I do. I find fabric juicy. But for a moment I was, you know, when you start doubting yourself and you think, am I just being a bit of a weirdo here? But I think this fabric is juicy. And if you agree, I want you to message in. <laughs> it is though, isn't it? Oh, look at that. I barely scratched the surface with this fabric. It's lovely. Um, Jan's got in touch. Happy birthday. Thank you. Mo, happy birthday, handsome. I love any message that ends handsome. Thank you. Oh, Margaret, happy birthday, Stuart. Thank you, love. Oh, it's so lovely to hear from everybody. Um, I love doing the birthday show. This is my second one now. Do you know, it's great. I, I, I joined Sewing Street August of 21, and we're now February 23. I feel it's a real home now. It's lovely. Look at this. Oh, so beautiful. We've got these really strong teals and aquas, that Caribbean. Just gorgeous, isn't it? The blues, and, and all of them have this sort of watercolour painted look. The vibrancy, it's incredible, isn't it? Just beautiful. Um, I'm going to speed up slightly because I've still got loads to get through. And lovely. I'm just getting a few more blues. Oh, that'll do for me. One of those, thanks. And as in, yes, of course, it's lovely for a quilt. You could make this into a quilt, but it'd be great for some bags, cushions, that sort of, sort of thing. But also, um, just as a stash of kind of every colour in the rainbow, if you love doing a plique, um, things like Baltimore album quilts, I love. Now you use a lot of like reds and greens in a Baltimore album, but then there are lots of little bits of many, many other colours. Um, this would be ideal for that. Oh, B, thank you, Babs and Sarah. Just like juicy opal fruits. It is, it is. It's juicy. Juicy and, res juicy and resplendent. The Fabric and Sewing Street. Happy birthday, Judith. Thank you, Judith. That's lovely. I feel like I've been um, bolstered up by you all for that. Juicy is a word, you can say. Lisa Lamb, legend Lisa Lamb has messaged to say, juicy, lush, lush, om nom, gasmic. Are just a few suitable fabric descriptives. <laughs> Lisa, I love you, I love you. I love you. Absolutely brilliant. It's true. It's true. Catherine says, happy birthday. Thank you, darling. Got some tapestry fabric for some bags. I can stuff Juicy too, so you're not alone. I call stuff Juicy too, so you're not alone. It, well, that, if, if fabric isn't Juicy, what is that? What is that right there? It's a bit of loveliness, isn't it? Karen in Aberdeen, she says, roses are red, violets are blue, fabric is juicy, and so are you. Happy birthday, Karen. <laughs> I say, Karen. But thank you. Thank you. Juicy, juicy. There we go. Right. Well, Maxine, who came out for dinner last night, she's the one that started me saying that. She's, every time I see her, she goes, juicy, juicy. <laughs> I love it. Now I've set all that out. I don't want to mess it up again. So there we are. Now we've got some plain fabrics. I was I was sort of playing with these earlier on, wasn't I, when I was showing you the tapestries and saying, look, you could use some solids, some cotton solids, 
to work with your tapestries. You could use these as linings. They'd work really quite well with um, Wendy Orlando's pattern because you use half a meter of tapestry for the outside, but you also need a little contrast half meter for doing things like bindings, linings, that kind of thing. Check these out. Nice selection. Nice selection, all by the half meter. I'm gonna start with these two neutrals. Six nine seeded natural, or is that beige? That's the latte. Oh, I'm loving that. Now I might, I might nick that for the 12 o'clock hour. 12 o'clock, I'm gonna be doing some machine quilting on the 680 plus, and I'm gonna be uh, using this. There, I've said it, latte. Beautiful colour that. Lovely and warm. If you like a warm cream uh, to go with your beautiful fabrics, warm cream. Oh, yummy. That's lovely, isn't it? That's latte. And I do love a latte, um, but uh, Charlie's the latte man. I'm the cappuccino. So this next one, this is beige this is rather lovely too now tilda which you know i absolutely adore they use a lot of this color in their doll fabric for for making their beautiful dolls and i think it's got that it's got that kind of nice warm um sort of sun kissed do you know what i mean lovely really like that color i'd use that for doll making Oh, Fiona says, there used to be a rock band in the 70s called Juicy Lucy. Oh, that's where it comes from. That's why Maxine says it. It suddenly makes sense. We've got another friend who's called Lucy and Maxine says, Juicy, Juicy Lucy. That's why. I always thought she was just weird. <laughs> right. Uh, the Is this a claret? This goes really well with a lot of the tapestries. A lot of the tapestries. This is a nice easy one. That's Bordeaux, isn't it? It's Merlot. It's Merlot. Mm. I can't speak at the moment because I'm eating cake. <laughs> Teresa says, Happy birthday, Stuart. You are juicy, loving the show, and I've bought mine. Thank you, darling. Mmm, lovely. You could make some really good uh, profits, I think, on tapestry bags with these linings, because you think, if you're paying 5 99 a half meter for your tapestry fabric, three pounds 79 for your lining, you spent less than 10 pounds, done. 25 pound bag. Hello, lovely. Um, I like this color. This is, is this that like Caribbean blue or ending O2? Jade, mm, I like it. That's yummy, jade. It is, it's rich, isn't it? Mm, turquoisey, mm, love turquoise. They'd make me shave my hands though, wouldn't they? For jewelry. Not doing it. Not doing it. Not doing it. Uh, green. Fur. Fur. <laughs> FIR. Fur. Trees, not F U R, silly. Silly. Marion says, wishing you the happiest ever birthday, Stuart, and a wonderful year to follow. Thank you for brightening even the dullest day. Mwah. Marion in Western Supermare. Oh, Marion. Mwah. To you too. We used to go to Western Supermare all the time. My nan lived there and we used to love a little trip. We're going to go to a break now. Thank you for spending the first hour with me. It's been a laugh. Um, check out this fella in the break. 
Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Ba ba da, ba ba da ba, Lisa Lamb, that's for you. Ba ba da, ba ba da. Chicka pow. Right. <laughs> Enough of that. Okay. More of this. <laughs> Hello. Happy birthday. Hey. Thank you. That's I'm coming up for a little snuggle. Oh, How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Just check my beard for crumbs. No, it wasn't I'm a crumb, good. it was a thread. Bless yeah, you. Got that and thank out. you, That's Viv. <laughs> I was like, oh, what's that? Hello. Right. This hour, look at this gorgeous. This is so classy. It's, it's beautiful fabric. It's, it's so, so classy. I mean, yeah, the base velvet is 
divine. You know that fabric, it's like, it's like a newborn puppy. You just want to keep stroking it, yeah. I want to, I want to just, mm. oh, it's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And then look at this loveliness, the iridescent, beaded, lamade moth. You do that thing, Delphine, where you take the overlooked and make it completely gorgeous and desirable. Okay. You know what I mean? No. With a moth. <laughs> well, with moths, you know, that, that you've reminded us how beautiful they are. Mm. I just yeah. think that is divine. It is such a gorgeous project. And what great fun to make as well. A little bit of hand beading, a bit of hand stitching, a bit of machine stitch. Are you going to show us how to make this? Yeah. I love it. I love it. Now, there's two <laughs> options. There's two options with kits. The green's been super, super popular. We'll start with that. Okay. So what you're getting here is the shimmering moth. A luxury shimmering moth pattern first off so full instructions from Delphine of how to create that beautiful applique moth and also how to do the beading then you're also getting all the bits and pieces that you're going to need so you're getting this gorgeous big piece of green velvet and this is so beautiful so this is for the front and the back of the cushion? It is, yes. How much do you get? Is it a metre? Yes, one metre of the green. Fabulous, that. You'll easily make two. Oh, um, would you? Easily make two, Ooh, yeah. Ooh, for 24 99 you can make two cushions. Yeah. Have we got enough lame? Uh, there's enough that you could make. If you had a bought extra velvet, you could make another four or five. Wow. There's loads. You got it. enough beads for two? Yeah, it'll oh, definitely. Oh, yeah, now you're talking. Definitely. Wow. Yeah. Wow, $24.99 to make at least two of these cushions, everything, front, back, the lot. Uh, you've got your lame and you've got organza, both in gold. That's glorious, absolutely glorious, so you can overlay fabrics. Then you've got three packs of beads so you've got your mixed um silver and gold you've got like sort of pear shaped you've got round uh you've got faceted beads in there then you've got these um bugle beads in silver and then you've got a pack of bugle beads in green god there's loads there for 24.99 that is amazing and I'm thinking as well, Delphine, I mean, I love how you've put one um, moth right in the centre. But I'm just thinking you could also do a really nice long rectangular bolster yes, with two or even three on it. Yeah, that would look really pretty, yeah. There's loads of, there's loads of fabric you could easily do Amazing, that. amazing. You've done it again. You've done it again. So that's our green option, 24.99. It's been really, really popular, really popular. And I mentioned this in the menu, we have got limited supplies of each of these kits. Really, actually, I think rather too limited. We haven't got enough. So all I'm saying is, if you want it, if you're loving it, please, please grab it. Now, the second option that we've got is the blue. Now this, I'm just going to turn this fabric the right way out because at the moment it's the wrong side, it's the back side. And it's a lovely back side, but the front side is so much nicer. So you've got this rich, inky, luxurious blue. Look at that, that is lovely. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and then you also, of course, get your lame and your organza you get your packs of beads and you get your pattern remember this is enough to make at least two of these cushions now we have got the blue and the green velvet fabric on the show on its own which i'll get to in a second so i'm just thinking because actually i love blue and green together mm. and i'm just thinking that you could actually get one kit but maybe a meter of another color of velvet yeah. and then use these bits to create more do you know what i mean 
absolutely stunning, $24.99. It's also been very, very popular as well. And you're going to show us how to make this with the blue, aren't yes. you? Yes. Yeah, lovely. Oh, I love that. I love that. Okay, so those are our two kit options. Now, we've also got the pattern on its own. So let me show that to you next. So another fabulous pattern from Delphine. 18 inch square cushion. You've got full step-by-step -step instructions here to how to create the shimmering moth cushion using both applique and embroidery and beadwork. What sort of level have we, are we talking here, skill level? Oh, beginner. Beginner. Because it's so easy. Mm -hmm. It's so easy. As mm -hmm. long as you just turn your sewing machines down a little bit just to take your time on the stitching. Oh, slow it down. Just slow it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all you need to do. So take your time, but really enjoyable. Mm. Love that bit of hand beading. It's absolutely exquisite. And I suppose you could do more or less. That's it. I think with this, because I really wanted the gold fabric to really show through. So I think with this, like less is more, really. I totally agree. You know? I totally agree. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Lisa Lamb, a few messages from her. Uh, she said, fabulous bopping. I'm overcome. Did you see my bopping at the no. start? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Were you overcome, Delphi? Oh, yeah. I was, Were I you? was mesmerised. Yeah, but <laughs> actually Lisa Lam was really overcome by your cushion because that got in capital letters OMG. Wow, Delphine, your cushion looks so expensive. Oh. And it does, doesn't it? Yeah, well, I think it gives it that luxury, high-end look. Yeah, I, I, I mean, think so. I like it. Totally, totally. And my, my sister's got her eye on it. I bet she has. Yeah. I bet she has. I've got my eye on it. It's my birthday. It's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It is gorgeous though, isn't it? And yeah, really high end, looks really expensive. I think if you saw this in, you know, anthropology mm. or like an expensive designer yeah. shop, or, you'd be like £75. Oh, easily. Yeah. £75, £100 for that cushion. And you'd be able to make your own, at least two, at least mm. two. Mm. Okay. I'm thinking that, maybe another one down here, maybe at a slight angle or... Mm. I, I really like the idea of the three on the... On, on Let's the, do that. Yeah. Let's do that. I didn't that. have time to make that, though. <laughs> I'll do that. You can do that. Gorgeous. So if you want the pattern on its own, you can get it. Now, I have a few other things to show you, but let's get into demo. Let's get into demo, Delphine. Okay. Where do we start? So first things first, make sure you, your irons are at a warm setting. You don't want your iron too hot. Uh, so this is where you're going to need your bonder web. So, can I grab the pattern, please? Mm -hmm. So, the templates are on the back. So, here's your template. So, the first thing you need to do, you need to cut a bit of bond web that is big enough to cover your pan. Now, as you can see, I am being quite generous with it. Don't do it so it's, you know, you're cutting all the way around the edge. Just have enough that it just covers the, um, the fly itself. Fly? Moth. Moth. It's moth. Yeah. moth. <laughs> I'm talking to moth. myself. Moth. Okay, and as you can see, I haven't traced anything yet. I'm just going to stick my bond web straight on to the organza. Is this why you needed the iron at a lower setting? A lower setting because it, you don't want to melt it. Understood. And if you've got an applique mat, have we got an applique mat? I think we've probably got something like that. We'll, we'll have a. I'll, I'll have a little look because I know what I'm looking look at for. The mat. Yeah, so I've got, I've got I it right here. I recommend that you do a bit of a test piece first. So if you have a tiny little piece, um, just cut it off and just make sure you're not using your favourite ironing board to do it, and just in case you do make any mistakes. Just a minute, just, just. A <laughs> Who's got a favourite ironing board? Well, I've got a couple. I do. do I've you? got I have a clean cutting mat. I have one right. like this. Okay, it's no, clean. Fair enough. All right. And I've got one that's absolutely minging. <laughs> it is filthy. It is filthy, <laughs> but I use it all the time. So yeah, I have a favourite one. If I'm just doing... lift that up and I'll put this So I, I don't wanna um, although I, I think I burnt it last time. No, you're right. Yeah. It's like I having a, it it's, it'd be like having a favourite air fryer for me. <laughs> right, I'll pop that down for you, and there's your top sheet. All right, I'll leave that with you. <laughs> I, I love these, though. I've, got, this is, I've actually had to cover this, my ironing board with one of these. Oh, it yeah. Is, it is, if I have any visitors and they saw the state of my ironing board. Was it your favourite ironing board that you covered? <laughs> yes, it <laughs> was my dirty one. Excellent. No, you have a clean one, especially when I'm doing instructions. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. If, I, if, I put, if I showed you my... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you hadn't got this, what could you use instead just to protect the surface? Uh, just, a, just a piece of off-cut of cloth. 
yeah. any type of material. Yeah. yeah. Anything that's quite thin that's going to um, let you get all the heat. Through. Baking paper's all right as well, isn't it? At a push. Baking, paper, baking paper. Yeah. 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 I just use whatever I've got to hand here. So mm. I've and I've mm. got a bit of fabric. My applique mat. Or, like I said, since I've had one of these, this one's, this is always out now. Mm -hmm. A couple of questions for you. Mm -hmm. um, Steph's got in touch to say, ooh, velvet, I adore velvet. Does it come in extra wide? I need it to cover my settee in beige, please. Thank you, Steph. We'll see what we can do. Um, but I'm glad you love the project. David's got in touch to say, morning, Stuart and Delphine. Happy birthday, Stuart. Thank you. I have a question. What fabric will you use to make the inner cushion? Do you need to make an inner cushion? Do you no, buy an I inner didn't. cushion? No, I didn't line it. No? No, I didn't line it. So you just put the cushion pad straight inside? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So if you do want to make your own cushions though, do you have any recommendations if you're making I'll your own? I'll just use a calico I'll use a calico. Yeah, because it's quite stable and yeah. it's cheap and it's, it sews really well. Yeah. So if you want to line it, I'll just use a calico. Sometimes you have to, don't you? If you're going for like an odd size or shape. <laughs> yeah. And if I was making them to sell, yeah. I'd line them. Yeah. But I didn't. Not. Yeah. yeah. So but if I was making it for a friend or if I was making them for home, I'd line it. Yeah. But but Another thing, if you ever want just a really lightweight backing on something, maybe like you're doing a bit of hand beading, embroidery, something like that. I like Osnaberg. Osnaberg, yeah, well, I love Osnaberg. Mm. You, that's, I'm actually doing that. Oh uh, Yes, yeah. yeah. You can yeah. use that on the back of a, a piece, yeah. can't you, as well? It's quite light, easy to sew through. And also, I'd also recommend putting some, uh, once you've finished all your beading, is actually iron some interfacing onto the back. Nice, yeah. Just to make sure that not, none of you, all that, you know, you spent all that time doing all of that work. Yeah. You don't want anything to come loose. For sure. Julie says, beautiful cushions. Love the blue. It's gorgeous. Love you two together. Happy Aww. birthday, Stuart. Thank you. Right, so, and now, so I've, I've done my, um, my bond web is on the back, and it's firmly, it's, def it's definitely not going to come off. So then you just need to trace over it. Now, if you're in a really light room, uh, if you don't have a light box, you can just put this up against a window, and, and you'll be able to see through it quite easily. But obviously, all the lights in here, it's, um, it's all quite reflective, so I'm just going to use this to make myself, give myself a little bit... My Easier. lovely friend Hilary, who's doing some embroidery for me at the moment, she has a light box and I know she absolutely swears by it. She does a lot of red work, a lot of hand embroidery. They're so useful, aren't they? Yeah, oh yeah, really useful. So just um Lynn's got in touch. I love Delphine's designs. I missed out on the confetti tree quilt uh, tree kit. Will it be repeated? Yes. It will. Awesome yes, Lynn. Yes, it will be. Yeah. So I'm, obviously I'm, I'm going to get my head in the way because I want to get right over it to have a look at it. Okay. So with this, as you can see, I'm going to draw directly onto the fabric. Mm -hmm. So obviously you've got the um, paper on the one side. Mm -hmm. Make sure that's against the pattern. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're at home, what I would recommend, because we always give you the uh, patterns a nice, thick, luxury card. If you have a bit of paper and then trace over it and then do it, mm -hmm. only because you'll be able to see it really, mm -hmm. really, mm -hmm. really well. Yeah. I do that. If a line's not bold enough, you can go over it with a yeah. sharpie, can't you, and make it really yeah. bold. So, for example, in my instructions, you can see that when I've traced over it, it's actually really, you can see it really easily, because mm -hmm. I've just done it on a thin piece of paper. So just trace it from the pattern onto yeah. a thin piece of paper. So, and all I'm using is a biro, and yes, it's not an erasable marker. Mm -hmm. So you need to make sure that you're really careful with your lines. Okay. Okay. So... Gotcha. Let me just move that out of the way. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, oh, Lynn's happy. Yay, whoop, whoop. <laughs> uh, Sheila got in touch to say happy birthday, Stuart. Have a good day. Love Thank a pen you. that works helps. Oh, bless you. Have we got a <laughs> pen, um, Michael, that, that Delphi can use? Just a biro, please. Um, Sue says, I want the, set of the square applique mat, like the ironing board one you had. Are you expecting stock soon? It's the one that, that Delphine's using right now, actually, Sue. And oh, yes, we have got an order in. We will be getting more stock in very, very soon. I know I really want one to their ace, aren't they? Oh, I wouldn't be without it now. No. It's one of those things, I think we did it together, didn't we? And I yeah. remember saying, this is the kind of thing you think you've got everything 
until something like this comes That's along. Cute. You're like, oh no, I need that now, definitely. It's gorgeous. How are you getting on with your tracing? I'm just, working? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, I managed to get it to work. Ah, cool. I've got a backup though. So it's always good you, to have a plan B. So as you can see, I'm just drawing over my lines. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if at home, you'll take your time and do it nice and neatly. And do you need to trace every line, all of the veining? Well, it's an option. You might not want to put all of that on there. Okay. You might just want to have the outline. It's completely up to you. So, But I have given you loads and loads of detail, just so mm. if you want to add um, as much detail as I have. Oh, can I make a suggestion? Yeah. For what I've just thought what also would look amazing. Once you've got this and you've made this up, you know, you'll want a couple of other coordinating cushions. What about using something like a linen or an Osnaberg or a cotton, tracing the moth design on, maybe even overlapping or, and then just doing embroidery, backstitch embroidery. Oh, of lovely. The outline, the mm. veining. And that'd be pretty. I really like it because I'm going through a bit of a texture phase at the moment. I really like the idea of when you just said about the um, Osnaberg and then maybe using something like a really rough material mm. uh, as for the moth instead. So, mm. you know, it's like it still look really, it, it's all glamorous, but in a completely different way. Do you know what I'm trying yes, to do? Do you know what I mean? I fair. know what I mean. I just talk nonsense. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, we know. It's the creative process, isn't it? You're yes. doing one thing and you suddenly start thinking about different directions. But yeah, and it would look really cool on on a denim as well. Oh yeah. I won't do all the the veining, I'll just do a little bit more. Oh, I'm just enjoying watching you trace. It's quite that therapeutic actually. Mm. I love the way you've matched your nail colour to the little flash on your blouse. Oh yeah, oh, I'm I sorry noticed. that I've, I've broken, I missed a nail. <laughs> uh, miss a nail. Broke a nail pack in the car, so I'm very sorry if you think I look at it. Story of my life, love. Yeah, I did it last night and I was packing the car up because I had to bring loads of stuff in with me this morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and it fell off. I'm going to get it fixed in a bit though. Ah, cool. Laurie's got in touch, Delphine. She said, Delphine, oh, you've done it again. Oops, you've done it again. <laughs> I could not resist. I dropped the green in my basket. I've gone, I've lost you now, haven't I? I dropped <laughs> the green in my basket. Beautiful. Oh, thank Gorgeous. you. Right, so I'll just pad one or two more. I'm going off pattern now. I'm just literally. Ooh. So I'd, otherwise you'll, I'll be there. Is that allowed? Yeah. Yeah. So of course there's my, um, what's it called? Moth. Okay. <laughs> 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 Right, my pens. I, I didn't bring my, the, my best buy row. You've just, got a spare one there, though, oh, if you yeah. want. You know, Michael went to great trouble to get that for you. He did. <laughs> Use <laughs> it. <laughs> there, there we go. go. That's much better than mine. Check that out. Good. Okay. And then I'm just going to cut it out nice and neatly. Okay. Do you? Will you need the light box again? No. I I I'm going to take it out. There you way. are. Very helpful, Stuart. All right. Do my best. <laughs> there we go. So, do, 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 do. so oh, baby, nice baby. Nice small pair of scissors. Oh. Yep. Nice sharp scissors. Very sharp. I think it's always lovely as well. If you're a very dedicated patchwork and quilter like me, um, it's really nice just to get a different fabric into your hands every once in a while and what Delphine's done here is is got us using velvet and lame and beads and it's just a gorgeous different experience if you only make quilts yeah give it a go oh yeah and it's like you say it's a different skill set isn't it and yeah. it's really easy I think people you know can be put off by using a fabric such as this but I didn't even use a walking foot no. on this it's just quite an easy it's actually now, quite stable. I think Catherine will be talking your language. She's certainly talking mine. She says, this would look amazing on a denim jacket or some jeans. Yeah, that would yeah. look really nice. Yeah, really nice. Charlie's got some amazing embroidered and beaded jeans from Japan that are Ooh. so beautiful. Fancy. 
So, um, yeah, fancy price. Yeah, I can. You imagine. could do your own with this, couldn't you? Yeah. Buy the pattern. Get, you can get the pattern on its own. If you're thinking, not the cushion, but love the idea, get the pattern on its own. It's nine ninety nine, and then you've got all your techniques. You've got your moth template. You could mm -hmm. use it for embroidery, embellishing. You could, presumably as well, we could enlarge, reduce the yes. size. Yes, yeah, do whatever you like. Yeah, we'll put those details on screen. Nine ninety nine for another amazing Delphine Brooks pattern. So there's my, oh, I could just. I know. It's just so nice. Newborn, <laughs> newborn goat kid. It is. Oh, you've got. That's a, what they feel like. You've got a new. You've got a new. Kofi. Yeah. So Little Kofi. He's called oh. that because he was born on a Friday, and he's an African African goat. And um, and I looked, and a, it's a traditional boy's name for boy in in Africa for yeah. boys born on a Friday. Oh, Kofi. Really? So I thought, well, it's got to be then. Oh, I love him. He's so lovely. we're gonna put me, pop me moth. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. So carefully, I recommend if you are going to, rather than just peel away on the sides, just give it a little scratch. Mm -hmm. And then make sure you know which side, because obviously you can barely see the blue. Carefully peel all that off. Right. And then place it into the centre of your fabric. That's about there. And again, use an applique mat to cover it up. Mm -hmm. I'm now realising why you said don't be doing all this tracing with an erasable pen. Yes. <laughs> because you're going to need those lines. Yeah. Let me just check that's Lovely. Yeah, happy. Yeah. Let me take that for you. Oh, sorry, I'm just I'm stuck in the scuff and handed it. Yeah. There you go. Of course, like this yesterday with John, he was an absolute angel. Lovely. I got so much stuff on the countertop and I just kept on sort of throwing it down to him and he was just making it all lovely and neat for me. Oh, he's a good egg. I've actually got a type, quite a tidy workspace today. This never happens. <laughs> so now all you're going to do is, what you want to make sure is that you've got a nice, decent quality black thread. Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure you've got the same in both the bobbin and the, um, which I didn't do. I in didn't, the top. Yeah, I thought I brought another one in with me. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, I have, I have, I have. It's okay. I'm all over it. I've got this. Yeah. So, the beauty of this machine, I can do it really, really fast. So. Okay. Because you want to make sure you've got the set exact same in both your, your bobbin and your uh, spool. Mm hmm This is one of those times when you need that, that simplicity sidewinder. <laughs> Susan says, I can't believe you apologised. Uh, about your nail, Delphine, you made me snigger. About a memory, about my mum, though, she'd have been the same. My mum the same, too. Oh, I, I know. I couldn't believe it happened last night. Hmm. Never mind. So you don't need any fancy feet, anything like that. There's no, there's no fancy stitching. Okay. So even just a base model machine will be fine for this project. So you just choose your, st your, your straight stitch and um, you can shorten it ever so slightly just so it makes a more of a bolder line. You don't need okay. any wadding either. Mm -hmm. There we go. And all you're gonna do is sew over your lines, that's it. Okay. Do we need to keep on doing like start stops and neatening thread or? Uh, yes, you do, you do yes. start and stop a little bit, but okay. you are gonna be sewing over um, from the edges anyway, okay. so uh, I won't worry about doing loads of back stitching because obviously you will be able to see that. Right. You're doing a bit of iron in there, are you? I am. Oh, Just you're doing a bit of sewing later. Doing a bit of sewing later. Oh. Cranking out the machine. <laughs> oh, I love it. So I'm just going over my lines. 
So this is where I, I said, you know, just take your time a little bit mm. and just um, go over your drawn lines. So I've already come to another one, so I'm not even going to take the needle out. I'm just going to carry on going around the body. Keeping that needle down as you go round. Mm -hmm. And I remember you saying at the start, Delphine, you sort of turn your, your speed down. Yes, just turn your speed down. Just if you are quite heavy footed mm -hmm. and I am. Uh, you're worried about going off the line, because obviously you don't really want to be on picking. Uh, I suppose you could go over it with another one, but. I mean, you do have plenty of the fabric in case you do make any mistakes. That's yeah. I can't believe the value in the kit, either of the kit. Twenty four ninety nine for both pattern, all your velvet, your lame, your organza, all your beads, three packs of beads as well, and enough. I mean, that would be amazing if you had just enough to make one cushion. But the fact that you can make two full cushions, front and back, and applique and beads, is yep. unbelievable. £12.50 per cushion. Bargain. It is outrageous. It is outrageous. It's an outrage. <laughs> <laughs> is that Ben? Yes. <laughs> yes. You just knew it, didn't you? Yeah. I mean, of course, I'm doing it with a black thread, but if you wanted to, you could use a another metallic thread if you wanted to. Oh, yeah. Just for extra bit of bling if you wanted mm, it. Nice. Really nice. I'll just do a few more bits. I suppose maybe the... think about the colour of thread you're going to use when you choose the colour of pen that you're marking. Kind yeah. Match the two. Yes. And definitely. then if any pen shows it's not, it won't matter. Um, Anna says, happy birthday, Stuart. Uh, thank you. Love Delphine's moth design. And Sarah, Sarah, sorry, says, hi, Delphine and Scott. Scott, now Scott is much younger, much taller and much more handsome than me, so I'll take it. Is there <laughs> any way I can buy the Highland Cow Cushion Pattern Kit? Thanks. Oh, oh. Sarah, we were talking about, I'm laughing because we were talking about the Highland Cow just before we came on air, weren't we? We were. Such a, such a favourite, fan favourite. All I'll say is keep an eye out for when I'm next on. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. You tease. Did you get that, Sarah? Just wait till next time. The thing is, you know, it's such an iconic project from Delphine, isn't it? It's completely iconic. Who we knew? When I made that, I had no idea. I was, I was actually worried that it, nobody would like it. <laughs> and it's, yeah. Yeah. It's, Years, it's about three years ago nearly. Amazing. Yeah. It was one of the first things I designed for Sewing Street. Really? Yeah. Gosh. In fact, I think it was the first thing I designed for Sewing Street. This is the Highland Care. I peaked too soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> What's lovely though is seeing how you, 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 we all know you're such a creative person. I think it's so lovely the fact that you bring all those different elements to Sewing Street. You know, oh, sometimes it's you. patchwork, sometimes it's more about the stitching. This time now, I don't think I've seen you do like beading to the, like this yeah. before, which I love. Something a bit different, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely lovely. I just like to try different things and just give it a go. And if it doesn't work, you know, it's not the You end went of the world. to art college, am I right? Oh, I went to art school for art a year school. and then I left and joined the RAF. <laughs> a bit different a bit of a different Very. career change yes yes but you've always had that creativity yeah because I, I actually studied a level art mm -hmm. um, and it was that that actually got me into um, sewing because mm -hmm. I was actually studying um, 
when I started doing my A-level art, I was actually doing fine art. Um, because that's where, that's my background, mm -hmm. you know, as an artist I used to paint and draw and, and then I had a little uh, dabble in the textile department because back then, when you did your A-levels, it was uh, sculptor, uh, textiles or fine art. It, okay. But it was all under the same umbrella as A-level art. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I had my little tester mm -hmm. in there, that mm -hmm. was it. I was, yeah, I just fell in love with it. And but again, it was more to me. It was more about. Oh, I forgot those two lines. It was more about doing um, the. It wasn't about making the clothes. It was the fabrics. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I ended up making. People were making really tidy, like coats and jackets and things, and like really, really nice clothes. I ended up making this most outrageous bright yellow flared see-through outfit I'm there with can I buy it <laughs> with New York taxi oh written. so it, it was it was just so out there Do you yeah, got yeah. me an A I got an A an A and I put that I bet but, it did but my actual um so I used to enjoy doing a lot of life drawing as well and uh, so my actual oh really yeah I really I, I really enjoyed that yeah and so my actual A level exam piece was I, I drew all of these um, life drawings of all these ladies all mm -hmm. in different uh, medias mm -hmm. and I screen printed it onto the mm -hmm. fabric That's and I made right. it into a coat but to look at you go oh it's a really elegant coat but uh -huh. actually I make women all in. And then you looked more closely I love that. Yeah. Do you know what I'm loving as well and, I've, and the reason why I've come over is because I could see from over there because Delphine's quilting onto velvet which has a pile which has a, a sort of loft to it it's actually the 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 stitching that you're doing it's quilting it isn't mm. it yeah. so it's actually raised the 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 moth i love that effect it's so clever and the studio lights really pick it up as well they really they? do i'm going to move out the way that is gorgeous there we go so i haven't done all the lines i've just done a selection mm -hmm. So let me just cut away any extra threads. Yeah, so after that, I just got into, I just played with everything from silk painting to, mm. you know, and playing with loads of different fabrics. And that was when I first started free motion, actually. I coloured really? in a lion. Yeah, I coloured in a lion, um, like a pa lion panel, and I coloured it all in with thread. It took mm -hmm. me hours. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. I, I love thread painting. I, I don't do it, but you know, I admire. There's some artists that I absolutely love. I have a very dear friend, Pam Holland, in Australia, who creates these huge portraits. She travels mm. extensively yeah. and she takes a lot of photography. She's an amazing photographer. And then she recreates the portraits in like five foot by six oh, amazing. foot in thread, yeah. in thread. Yeah. So every line, every pore, every hair yeah. is picked out. Yeah, I've done a, um, a couple of, uh, for friends, I've, I did one commission, no, yeah, it was actually, and mm -hmm. that was of a, of a dog. I did that years ago. I think it's on my Instagram somewhere. Mm. Okay, Gorgeous. so with your beads, so as you can see, what I didn't do, what I usually do when I do my applique is go around all of the edges with a blanket stitch. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to do that because I really wanted to keep it, I didn't want it to have that handmade look. I wanted it to have like a really luxurious look to it. So what you need is a very thin needle and some thread. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do, the beads, the really thin beads, uh, obviously on the green one I use the green, but on this one you're just going to use these tiny little beads and you're going to sew all around the edges. Oh, so you edge the moth in beads, that's yeah. the, the finished edge. We do actually have some beading needles on the show, I'll just grab them and show, show you. Um, here we go, they are Millwood. Um, beading needles and beading needles really long and really thin um, there they are right there you get four and you get sizes 10 11 12 and 13 so they vary from from really fine up to a little thicker the thicker one would be fine though wouldn't it yeah a bit easier to handle but they're sort of thin and bendy and they'll go through the center of even a really small bead 
So we recommend we, we all get a pack of these. Uh, yeah, I, they, yeah, they would have made my life a lot easier, yeah. i tell you that. Ah, yeah. If you've, if you've gone for the pattern or if you've gone for the kit, I'd grab those. For one ninety nine. I'd grab those. What sort of stocks have we got of those, please, Ben? Decent stock. Enough to cover all of the kits? Just about, just about. So if you haven't got beading needles, and I've assumed in the past, Delphine, oh, a thin... A th quilting needle go through that bead and it just no. sticks stuck can't yeah. get it through yeah that's what probably will happen at some point today because it's, it's when it gets to the eye isn't it yeah the eye tends to flare outwards and on a beading needle it stays really thin we've also got i just want to show you these this could end really badly oh look though because that is like a a, a fairy just touched her wand on a unicorn and it just turned to beads <laughs> that's quite a scary image isn't it <laughs> uh, i was just trying to process what you just said actually <laughs> <laughs> i've had too much sugar already delphine that is the problem do you know what i mean though really lovely you've got some lovely iridescent beads there and i'm just wondering whether these would work on the moth if you wanted to add extra colour and bling if you wanted to add a bit of extra colour definitely and also there's lots of like pearly beads in there as well they would look gorgeous surely well, let's have a couple the of little the pearly pearl ones. i'm going to find some out because there's some little sort of pear-shaped drop ones and there's round ones i'm going to grab these for you grab your little selection and if you need any more then just shout see look those oh lovely would yeah. they work yeah do you want more oh yeah they're pretty there's only seven of these packs of beads left by the way they're a little thing but i just think they're really pretty and there's some bigger ones as well i'm going to grab a few of those for you i might use those for the eyes actually. i can't resist things like this <laughs> oh it's lovely though isn't it little play I'll, I'll tell you what those would work really well with with some of my confetti quilting oh trees. they would yes yeah oh well don't start that because um we haven't got enough oh. <laughs> but i'll pop those in there as well yeah, for you lovely thank you they're quite nice aren't they those they are they've sold out well done if you got yours but delphine's going to still include some of those oh oh hello i told you this would end badly Oh. I'll, do, I'll do round with it's all right it'll keep me quiet michael it'll keep me quiet <laughs> now there's loads there i need to let you know the green kit that's all your green velvet your pattern your beads your lame there are 14 of those kits left there's 46 of you with it in your baskets um and only 14 left I need you to check out your baskets on that one. Now on the navy blue version, we've got 20 of the kits left. That is gorgeous. We've got 39 oh, of them in baskets. Twice over subscribe that. So don't leave them languishing in your baskets. Check out, check out, check out. See, I've got a lot of navy blue in my house. This will look gorgeous on my bed. Oh, golden navy. Mm. I love navy blue. And mm. that, I mean, green's my favorite color. Always has been, always will be. Oh, really? Yeah, I love green. Um, I think it's just color. I, I like being outside. Yes. Um, it's very and opulent. I live in the countryside. Mm. Yeah, like you. you, you live in the countryside. Mm. And, you know, so there's there's this lane near to where I live, and mm -hmm. I, I walk down it pretty much every day. Mm -hmm. Good for the soul, isn't oh, it? Oh, it is. It really is. I just love being outside. It just makes if I haven't been for a walk or had some fresh air, I'm, it, I'm just really grumpy. Yeah, walking in nature. Yeah, and my, do you know what? My boys are really good at it as well. You, you, they are. I see on your Facebook, your boys are really active. But you're an active yeah. family. You do it together. Yes. Don't you? Yeah, we we like to be outside. Sundays, we always do a walk. 
uh, mm -hmm. you know, because like I said, we're very lucky where we are. Yeah. Uh, Charlie, my eldest, whinges a bit, but once we're out, he's fine. <laughs> and he's, he's goes e with the name. He's coffee. even happy. <laughs> yeah, he's even happier if it ends with um, going to the pub. Oh. Oh yeah, bit of a pub walk. Now, oh. much as I much as I love chatting, Delphine. <laughs> excuse. Oh, hello, yeah. hello. Yeah, um, that looks really nice. Hello. Oh, this is, oh, oh, it's made me feel a bit sick for a moment. And I'll <laughs> tell you why in a second. Just tilting the cake up like this. Right, I can laugh about it now. You might not have seen the show, but I presented the award to our gorgeous Search for a Sewing Star winner. Right. Emily. Yeah. Yeah. And I said to her, a big crystal award. Right, give that back to me for safekeeping. And then halfway through the show, I said, oh, if you missed it earlier on, I'll just show you Emily's lovely award. And I held it up like this, and it fell out of the box, <laughs> straight onto the counter and Excellent. broke. Oh, and on, live broke on telly. Live on telly. Brilliant. And, <laughs> and if we needed any confirmation that Emily was our sewing star and brilliant for live TV, she laughed and carried on making a skirt. Excellent. And she was just... Brilliant. And I just wanted the ground to swallow me up. Did you just scoop it on and just lick the table? <laughs> God, honestly, honestly. But there we go, another cake has arrived. Hurrah. Aren't you lucky? Oh, I do love birthdays. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> How are you getting on? I'm good. Like I said, this is something that you just sit, sit somewhere quiet, mm -hmm. you know, or, or watching a bit of Netflix or whatever mm -hmm. you want to do. And just sew your beads on. So I'll, I'll just um, So how, what, what, what technique are you doing to actually sew the beads on? So what I'm doing is trying to stay as close to the fabric as I possibly can on the outside edge. I mean, you can just say, I have done a line already. Um, where's that pulled on? So my thread's being a bit naughty. There we go. So you just pull the thread out and then if you've got a straight line, you can put one or two on at the same time. But I'm going around a curve now, so I'm just gonna do them one at a time. Okay. So you push your, push your, um, bead all the way down and then you just pull it all the way through. Oh, easy enough. Easy and then you just keep going round and around and around. Mm -hmm. So I've done those already you can just about see that works really well actually and you go you'll go around the whole of the oh yeah that is moth. lovely. You'll like this Liz has got in touch to say happy birthday Stuart Hillard thank you have a fabulous day. Um, love the moth I bought the pattern. I'm going to add two moths to a light shade. Oh, lovely. Nice. Ooh. Yeah. In lame with beads. Oh, I'm loving that idea. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're giving me another idea now. Mm. See what you've done, Liz. See what you've started. So you keep going around with those, but I want to have a bit of a play with some of these ones. Oh, yeah, do it. So your pattern there is a guide, isn't it? It's not to be slavishly followed. No. You c I've just done loads of different ideas, really. Mm -hmm. So I quite like those. Let me have them get some of these gold ones out. Let's and while you arrange as well there, talking of loads of ideas, um, I just realised I've still got this tiara on. Oh, you've got to wear that all day. It's become, it's become part of me now. It's like, <laughs> you look so pretty. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Um, <laughs> Talking of creative and loads of patterns, your tassel cushion. Oh, I love my tassel cushion. I'm loving. I cannot wait for that hour. It's going to be really fun. And it, again, mm -hmm. just complete opposite ends of just again, just something so different. But still completely you, completely me, yeah. completely you. I'm sure. It's almost like this type of thing is really nice in like a formal lounge, mm -hmm. nice bedroom, whereas that is still like you know like funky in the snug and yeah. you know or taken office. outside in the garden lovely for the garden that's, that's exactly where they're going to go they're going to yeah. go in my garden yeah. when the when the sun's out because i've got a really nice l shape um seat sofa what they called garden furniture yeah yeah <laughs> yeah a bench yeah and yeah. it'll look really cool in the garden oh, yeah you know cocktail nibbles oh, hello. barbecue what time? <laughs> In about five months' time. <laughs> no! <laughs> when it's warmer. 
It's not what I wanted to hear. <laughs> Can't you just get like a heater or something? Well, let's we'll just sit inside. Oh, do you and know pretend. what? I am contemplating getting one of those because, again, because we like I like being out in the garden. I like being outside. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not going to rule that out actually. That's my friends, are, uh, Mike and Sarah, are very, very um, hardy. And they are out. They'll go out in the garden with blankets around them. Oh, really? Whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah. I have yeah. got a lot of blankets in my house. Actually. Yeah, they were they were born to live live outside. I think, um, and uh, yeah, they just whatever the weather, they'll do it. Um, David's got back in touch. Say thank you. We we answered David's question about the cushion pads inside. Yeah. If you weren't watching earlier on, David had asked, "What do you use if you want to make the cushion pad inside?" And we were saying things like calico or Osnaberg, and then you can make a cushion pad to whatever size or shape you want. So if you want to adapt this and make a bolster, and it's a weird and wonderful size, not an issue. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to put some backing behind your moth. You were saying interfacing. interfacing, just some iron-on interfacing, and that will stop any of your stitches coming loose. Perfect. Yeah, I, I Perfect. use that quite a lot actually. Great. Or even just use a bit of bonder web and just don't tear, peel the back off. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That that will that works because that's quite stable. Yeah. Steph, I can't. I I've managed to block the date that the trophy <laughs> broke. Okay, I've tried to block that out of my memory, so I don't remember. I don't remember. I'm sorry. What's I can't this? tell you how to rewatch it when the trophy went crash on the table. Oh yeah, that's Steph definitely. Stefan wants to watch the show back. I want to watch it. No, 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 no. It's been deleted. Can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What happened was as well. It it. It, there was a star on the front of it, basically, and it and it broke off. So it didn't. It, it sounds really dramatic, like the whole thing shattered, and it didn't. But that broke off. But they were able to glue it back on, and you would never have known, and it was fine. But why glue it back together? If you did it in front of everyone, it doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> Hilarious. Don't ever. Is it all let coming me, back? Yeah. You having a bit of PTSD? Don't ever there? let me touch anything precious. <laughs> when I come to your house, don't let me touch anything precious. Oh no, I've got two two boys, and <laughs> I've often got loads of other kids in the house as well. So okay. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about that. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, Ooh. oh dear. Oh, déjà vu. <laughs> now, quick stock update. Quick stock update. There are nine of the green kits left. 46 of them in baskets, 46 of them in baskets. I told you we've got very, very limited quantities of those. And then in the blue, there are 14 left and 44 of them in baskets. So the availability is tiny and the desire is great. <laughs> gotta be quick, gotta be quick. Um, can I cut you a piece of cake, Delphine? Oh, I'm trying to be good. Oh, are really, you? Um, I'm really, really right, trying love. to lose weight and yeah. it's just not happening. Okay, I'll, <laughs> I won't mention it I'm again. Really I'll, trying. I'll, I'll just eat it all. Yeah, <laughs> you, you fill your boots. Sandra says, Stuart, when does my piece of cake arrive? I... <sighs> We're all out of padded envelopes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Susan. Um, uh, 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 Sandra rather Susan asks morning everyone a uh, birthday boy Stuart thank you Delphine and the crew this would look even more stunning with iridescent seed beads oh lovely yeah. Mm. yeah you can really go to town can't you you could do as much as you like I mm. just it's to give you the idea mm. and to also um, get rid of any um fear of working with different fabrics you know a lot like of people that. have that fear of oh no I, do, I wouldn't iron that on there mm -hmm. or and just to show that you can do it mm -hmm. you know there's there's so much out there people oh you shouldn't iron this you should do it that way I don't follow any rules there's no rules in my book you can just sort of just do what you like and yeah. just see 
just having a play around see what works because this might give you the confidence or the ideas to work with it in other ways as well so I really like that. so rather than just using the same cottons all the time mm -hmm. just doing something a bit yeah, different i think it is it's a great opportunity it's a lovely desirable project giftable as well um and it just takes lots of us me mm. included out of our comfort zone away from our quick weight cotton yeah. We're working with velvet instead. We're, oh, Sandra's devastated that we've run out of padded envelopes. I'm oh. so sorry. We'll try and get some more in. Oh, she's having a hot cross bun instead. Oh, good choice. But if, if, I, was, if I was gifted something like that, I'd be Ooh, filled yeah. to bits. It is. It's so beautiful. You really would, wouldn't you? You really would be thrilled with that. Can I ask a question, please, Delphine? Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, just about sewing with velvet. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking. And what you worried have I then? Turned, what why did I... you do this? No, I'm joking. <laughs> why did you make that? <laughs> when you're working with velvet, when you're actually sewing up the cushion. Yes. Any tips? Any things we should know? Be aware of any. Uh, if you've got a walking foot, use it because it okay. just helps. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, just like with the coins, I did use a shorter stitch okay. because obviously you don't want it to come, uh, to come apart or mm -hmm. anything. But I didn't even, because when you cut the fabric, as you can see, it doesn't fray. No. So I did, I mean, I didn't do a very quick, I did a very quick back. But in the even on the inside, I didn't even overlock mm -hmm. the, um, the inside of it either. No. So I just literally just quickly just whipped it up. Mm -hmm. yeah gorgeous so. and I notice as well you've used a little bit of thread black thread on the head on the on the head yeah on I'll the just eyes. show you here mm -mm. I know isn't it lovely when you look at it close up like that but just a little bit is that like a um, satin hand satin yeah it's stitch? just a hand satin stitch with some black thread that's all it is I love how you've done these. I, I want to say eyes. Are they the eyes or are they? I, th I don't know. I just. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Excellent. I don't know. I just, I just see something. I think, oh, that look, that works well. It's a bit Egyptian looking, isn't it? <gasps> Here's a request. Oh. Here's a request. Okay. Go on. Please, please, please. Yeah. Will you do a matching cushion to go with this? Right. With a scarab, it's it's already. Are we covered? Are we covered? <laughs> awesome! I just thought, oh my goodness, a yeah. scarab yeah. with beads and lame and yeah. should have known better. Yeah, should have known it's, better. It's, you got it covered. It's already in the pile. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, all right then. Oh, all right then. There you go. Great minds. Ah. <laughs> Viv says, "Hi, Delphine. Do you have to match?" the nap of the velvet or not so much i know exactly what you mean there i didn't right no but you can, i think it only really matters sort of on the back i think anyway but yeah well it's not I a didn't. difficult job is it just uh, to have your, yeah. your nap going down yeah and down and down i just so had the the actual piece of fabric in front of me and it was square anyway i cut a bit off yeah so i that's yeah, yeah. Exactly. But I, I suppose if you if you're doing it like that, you probably would want it up and down. Once the dog's slobbered over it, you won't yeah, care. Yeah, yeah. I did sneeze on that one. Sorry. <laughs> did you? Oh, no, thank you. Good. Right. Lovely. Moving on. Get me another guest. <laughs> oh dear. Get I've only done a few, but I've just wanted to show, like, yeah, just to go all the way around the edges. You can put all sorts of beads wherever you like. Mm. So I did some where you can make them into like little flowers. Mm. They're all just going to roll around, but just put them wherever, wherever, wherever you like. But try and be symmetrical. Mm -hmm. I like the symmetrical thing. Make it yours. Yeah. And the bead, these beads have got different surfaces on them, so each one's going to be um, catch the light in a different way. Yeah. Go, go, go nice and bling. Yeah, know. do it. And put some more bling. is more. Or not, or not. Or not. I'm more of a... I think I was doing it, because when I was intending at first to put loads on. Yeah. But then I thought it would have taken the look of the gold away, so that's why. True. But it just gives you an idea, just giving you a few ideas. Mm. Just picking I'm up I'm thinking now, you know, with, I don't know, soft lighting or candles, that sort mm. of shining off the beads. Just gorgeous. I mean, the, the, luckily, we're really lucky in the studio here because all the lights are really blinging. Yeah, the gallery was saying earlier on, it's 
the first time every, anyone, you know, the, the lights have really worked for us because yeah. we don't think the lighting's great, but it's really worked for us today, hasn't it? Has, it has, yeah. Awesome. But Thank yeah, so, you so much. But yeah, just a little tip, make sure you uh, just go over the template onto a thin paper yeah. and that will be really easy to trace. Awesome. Thank you so no much. Worries. Brilliant demos as always and another completely beautiful, achievable and covetable project from Delphine Brooks. Remember, you can get the pattern, you can get the kit in the green or the blue. We've still got a couple of each left, but they are so, so oversubscribed. It really is about who's got the fastest finger. All right. We have got a little surprise in the next hour, or a little, well, a little back in stock. Yesterday, we sold out so quickly of my rainbow tote bag panels. We've managed to get a small stock for the next hour. There's 50 of each. Uh, I'm telling you, they've literally just been loaded. Uh, if you want one, jump on in the break and grab your panel. I will see you after this break. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. For ideas for the perfect gift, why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favorite presenters, guests, and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favorite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. 
So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing String on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Da, 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 da. I love that. I love that. Okay, welcome back. Now we're going to start straight off with my rainbow tote, sorry, tote bag, rainbow messenger bag panel. Now there's two options. We had this on yesterday, it launched yesterday and it sold out so fast and we had lots and lots of these. We've managed to get 50 of each panel back in stock. We haven't got 50 left now, I can tell you that. Let me start by showing you the dark. So this is the dark version. You get this gorgeous dark gray plaid for your flap and for your back pocket and your side pockets as well. You get this gorgeous linen texture charcoal um, for the front and the back of the bag, the sides, the base of the bag as well. You get all of your lining, okay, for the entire bag. You also get these special strips of rainbow fabrics that you're then gonna cut into your pattern pieces separate your fabrics apart and insert them wherever you want to to bring as much or as little rainbow to your bag as you want to now let me show you the panel because what you get on the panel for 19.99 is outstanding if i say so myself there's 25 half the stock's gone um you get all of your outer pieces, so for example here you've got the back pocket, these are the sides, um, this is the front and back of the bag, you've got your flap and your flap lining here, um, all those bits, you've got your shoulder straps, you've got side pockets, you've even got, if you want to use them, you've got some little flaps that you can put 
over the side pockets. You've got some labels. You've got tabs for um, rectangular rings, shoulder strap as well. And then look, these are the rainbow strips along the side that you get. Can you see you get two really wide strips? So what you've got is this, this is basically your resource. These two strips down the side. This is your resource to rainbow up your bag and you can do as little or as much as you like. I've done both bags differently and yesterday on my demo I cut and I put a really wide strip of rainbow through the centre of the flap but you can really play around with it um, and also because you've got so much rainbow there if you really only want to use the purples and blues you can just use those if you want to cut them apart and re-piece them back together again, you can do that too. I cannot wait to see how you use this panel to create one, maybe even two bags. Now you've also got full instructions for how to make the bag printed on the panel. So you do not have to buy a separate pattern. Everything is printed there to make your bag. If you've got bags for life or access to the internet, if there's anything on there that you're not sure about, you can always have a look, but it's a really nice, easy bag to make. There are 10 of these panels left in the charcoal and there are 33 in baskets. Um, you do have a really nice long shoulder strap so what I've done with it is to put a strap slider on so that you can wear it across your body or you can shorten the strap to wear over your shoulder. And like I say, you can put as much or as little rainbow on your bag as you feel like. It's really good fun. Now, the only other things that you'll need to add to make your bag, you need a pack of single-sided fusible bosal in our form. That's what gives the bag the structure. You want some medium weight fusible interfacing for your shoulder strap, your ring attachments, and also I like to interface the back pocket just to give it a bit more stability. You don't want to use bosal in that back pocket, it'll be too stiff. Um, and some thread, you obviously you, you want some, I've put some rectangular rings in the side, but you could put your strap directly into the bag. If you do that, you wouldn't be able to put a strap slider on, you just have a sort of fixed length. Um, and that's it, that is it. That's about to sell out. Let me show you the pastel version, because this is really pretty. Now I don't have the panel to show you, but you get everything that you get on the dark rainbow, but in a light. So you get this gorgeous, this is my, I know I shouldn't, but this is my favourite. I love this light grey plaid that I've used on the front flap, on the sides. You can see how differently I've embellished the two bags. This is just the side pocket. Um, you choose. Um, I've put two runs of rainbow across. Isn't that pretty? You get pastel rainbow this time. Really soft and pretty. Um, and I just changed the direction of the rainbow. And then on the back, I put a simple strip across the back of the pocket and I've divided those pockets up too. A lot of this stock's gone now. Um, I didn't put any further rainbow on the front of my bag. I kept the front of my bag quite clean, quite simple, and I just did a cross hatch quilt. You get your lining as well. And this time it's pastel rainbow, sort of batiki in style. Now, of course, if you wanted to have this front panel of your bag in that rainbow, all you've got to do is use what would be the lining piece on the outside. I mean, mix and match to your heart's content. Um, you can put a little magnetic snap in here and here if you want to. You could put a loop and a button if you prefer. I haven't put any closure on there and it holds down really nicely. Um, you choose you choose ah oh, this is a lovely message happy birthday stuart age is the number of years the world has enjoyed you from angie and Anne. what a lovely message thank you the world's been enjoying me for 52 years ah oh, wayne in lancashire has got in touch to say hi stuart happy birthday so glad i've managed to grab a dark gray panel i was at work yesterday boo so missed out hey wayne you're not missed out today well done well done oh santangle sandra has got in touch 
Then went darling, happy birthday Stuart, so pleased to have purchased one of these yesterday. I absolutely love it. I'm off to purchase the lighter one. To, ah, so you've got dark rainbow yesterday, light rainbow today. Sandra Rushton, who we love. So many birthday messages. I'm really grateful everybody who's messaged in and also on my Facebook um, page, everyone who's messaged, thank you so, so much. Please don't think I'm ignoring you. I'm on all air, on a, air all morning. As soon as we come off air, I'm gonna jump in my car and drive back to Yorkshire and then Charlie and I are straight out. So I apologize if I don't even click on like today. I've seen all your messages, believe me, and it's so lovely, thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, just have fun with this panel. You get everything for the outers, all the linings, the shoulder strap, all the rainbow embellishments, all of your instructions as well, all included for 19.99. Just add, oh, dark has sold out. The dark has sold out now. So the only one you can get hold of now is the light pastel rainbow with silver gray. Love it, love it. But again, you could emphasize, I've emphasized more of the sort of purples with this little binding here and at the sides. Um, but you could mix and match. Like I say, you can you can cut and piece those rainbow sections. You can leave them out all together. If you don't want, you can use them on a different project. Yeah, maybe you're gonna use this one for the daytime or when you're feeling in a pastel mood. Spring, yeah. Just lift it over the top of my tiara. <laughs> and there it is. Really nice, easy bag to make. Dimensions, by the way, it's 12 inches across, 10 inches deep and three inches wide. So a really nice roomy bag. I deliberately left pockets out inside. So there are no internal pockets at all. You do have your uh, large pocket on the back. I would subdivide this, otherwise it's a bit gapy. If you wanted one big pocket, I'd put a little popper here, a magnetic fastening, something like that here. And then I have also included these side pockets. Um, because they look pretty, you don't necessarily have to use them. Um, you could stitch across here to create a shorter pocket if you're worried that you might put things in and lose them. But I just, I couldn't resist putting a lovely pocket on the side as well, on both sides. So don't lose your sweeties in the bottom of that, will you? All right, leave that one with you. That is about to sell out. So if you want that, grab it. Single figures now. Okay. Millie Fiore from K Facet. This is absolutely glorious from K already been selling very very well indeed i'm going to open this up and shall i just let you into a secret i mentioned at the top of the uh, day that we would be doing some price crashes well this is one of them we're going to get it straight in because so many of you already have this in your basket you're going to save 30 pounds I'll wait. <laughs> 30 pounds saving. Check this out. Still on split pay, 46.99 today. Let's send this to you. Let me show you the fabrics because they are glorious. Absolutely glorious. Um, so this is the same pattern and I'll open one of these fabrics out in a second and show you. This is the same pattern in all of the different colorways that Kaif does it in. So this is a Mille Fiore rainbow and I am there for it. Look at this. <laughs> Pastels, pinks, rich earth colors, red, orange. Look at that for a deep and dark moody blue. I'm just gonna move that one to that side. There is your palette. And design wise, let me show you, I'm gonna show it you in the dark blue. This is the design, it's called Mille Fiore, which means a thousand flowers, doesn't it? Or a thousand leaves. I don't know if it's leaves or flowers. 
but there's the design is it that stunning mille fiore i always thought it was a that oh no mille fiore is a thousand flowers a thousand flowers mille foy which is french is a thousand leaves is that right mille fiore a thousand flowers and milfoy, which is that lovely pastry dessert with rectangular layers of puff pastry and cream and fruit. I'm getting hungry. Can somebody send out for a millifiore? Milfoy, rather. That is the dessert. A thousand leaves. Oh, that is stunning. That is stunning. You're getting half metres of 17 different fabrics. That's 15. That's not right. That's not right. It's not 15 and a half metres. 17 half metres. That's seven and a half metres of fabric. Yeah. Half yards. Half yards. Half a metre, half a yard. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, I'll, I'll leave that with you. But um, yeah, absolutely gorgeous that. Amazing price, 93.99 for 17 half yards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. There they are. Oh, absolutely scrummy. Right, have to leave that. Can we do Tim? Let's do Tim. Now I'm going to show you a bundle first. You can get these separately if you want to. Let me tell you, I've already bought both of these bundles, <laughs> which you might expect. You know how much I love Tim Holtz. I could not resist. These are two bundles. Now, they should be £159.98, and pence, but not today. Not today. Mm -mm. You're going to pay £144 on the nose. Thank you very much for that saving. Let me show you. So you've got your brights and these are lots of different textural prints from Tim Holtz. Um, I love, love the fact that we've got these kind of more masculine, deep, vibrant, this. I'm, I'm not going to open them all out. They're all so different, but I have to show you this because it is such a, look at that for a piece of work. Isn't that amazing? If you, you know, if flowers, floral, pretty, is not your thing, and you're like, oh, come on, show me something different. This is it. This is the one. Absolutely stonking. Lo this is another one I've got to just show you. There's so much detail in every, look. Isn't that stunning? So multi-dimensional, multi-layered. Imagine the fun you're going to have, the quilts, the bags, the projects you'll make using this glow. I can't help myself. I can't. This is why I've bought it. Look at them. I cannot help myself. Look at that. Look at that. It's verdigris and rust and printing. And hello. Whew. Get it in the back of my car now. Now. Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Happy birthday, Stuart. Tim Holtz has the best feel. Oh, I thought it said feet. I blame my 52. Tim Holtz is the best feet and quality of any fabric. It does, honestly. It really it is so good. Gorgeous. Another message about Tim Holtz feet. No, it's not. Hi, Stuart. Tim Holtz fabric would be fabulous for a plique, Audrey. It really, really would. It is glorious. He has actually got really beautiful teeth. I've met him a few times and he's got the most dazzling smile. Look at those absolutely gorgeous but i mean he's just uber uber super talented that's the dark bundle this this is still one bundle 144 pounds 
I'm only halfway through. Hi, Stuart. Happy birthday. Please, can you wish my sister, Alison, happy birthday too, as she's your birthday twin. Thanks, Leslie in Leicestershire. Alison, Alison, this is just for you. Happy birthday, my darling. Where's your tiara? <laughs> So here's the other half of the bundle, which is all the neutrals. Now, remember, you can get either of these bundles, the dark or the neutrals, on their own. I'll show you those in a sec. So here are the neutrals. Again, this is just fab. So we'll go from darks to lights. Mm, the clock faces, the maps, the musical notation, the notebooks, the tape measures, there's fabric that looks like kind of wet plaster. They're so earthy and gorgeous. I mean, I would just mix these with something like a seeded natural, a cream, an ecru, a latte. That is divine. For anybody who thinks, oh, neutral, in the background, you know, fading into the di Hello. Hello. That's a bit different, isn't it? Beautiful. Beautiful. And then you can see how you could combine... Oh, the TV's not big enough. The television isn't big enough. Look, all of that. 144 pounds and these are all so you're getting 40 fat quarters in total that is absolutely fabulous now if you want them individually you can get them individually let me start by saying the darks yeah the darks we'd call them bold sorry bold 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 finger. Tim's the man, the man with the lovely feet and also nice teeth. This is bold fabric. There we go. Enough. I have met Tim Holtz. He is a lovely man from Ginny. Me too, isn't he though? Really? And he's so talented. Absolutely brilliant. His stuff is amazing. Have you seen the pictures inside his house of all his collections of vintage things? And oh my goodness, you just want to go wild in there looking at touching everything. It's got so many different like, you know, old street signs, things from fairgrounds, you know, weird, wonderful key, old rusty keys. You know, I mean, I wouldn't want to clean his house. I'm going to, going to put it out there. I definitely wouldn't want to have to dust, but he is amazing. Amazing. Love it. Love that fabric. And yes, I got them both because it's my birthday. <laughs> There we go. Right. And that was before I knew about the price reduction. Right. Neutrals. Neutrals. Hardly. Hardly neutral, are they? Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. There's so much texture and tone in there. Now, I, 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 I hate to define, and I'm not defining who these fabrics are for, but I do just want to, you know, be clear. This is just great if you want to make projects for, for some men, you know, um, or you like a more neutral palette. I'm not saying by any means that these are just for men and these are for girls and all that. You know I'm not saying that. I just mean, I think sometimes when you get a fabric range which is so like, this is perfect for making that quilt for your brother-in-law. You know, it's like, oh yeah. Or actually, my mum would love that mum, I know you're watching, you'd love a quilt in this, wouldn't you? Because my mum loves those lovely warm neutrals and this would look spectacular in her house earthy, warm. It's not bland. Neutral is not bland. It can be. Colourful can be bland, you know. But this is glorious. All right, that's $79.99. Best value is if you buy both bundles. All right. 
Now, more loveliness. I'm just going to make a tiny bit of room. Now, I'm just going to level with you on this cave facet Aboriginal dots. There are two of them left. So I'm going to get them out and show them to you really, really quickly because there's very little. And we are going to drop the price, aren't we? Don't have to because, I mean, they've sold out virtually. But we're going to because we planned it. So there you are. OK, it's not cool. It's not going to drop on screen, but you're going to pay £89.99. So you're going to save £30. Here it is, Aboriginal Dots. Um, Cave's been doing this range for years and years and years. It is a classic. We love it. It goes so beautifully as a blender with any of his fabrics. But also, you can use it completely on its own. You can use it with solids. You could mix this with Alison glass, Tula pink. You could mix this with juvenile prints. You could mix this with blue work or red work embroidery. It is so, so versatile. Of all Caves fabrics, it's my favorite. And that's why it's sold out. <laughs> Put those away, sorry. Um, 89.99 for that that is what you'll pay that is what you'll be charged there we go right i'll just pop that to one side let's do tilda let's do tilda right chic escape now this is the very last of this range that we will ever have this is a bundle you can't buy these fabrics on their own. You can only get them in this bundle. They are fabulous. Chic Escape was one of my favorite ranges from Tilda. It is absolutely glorious. £7.15 per half meter. John, Scott and I were having dinner together last night. And he said to me, um, this was the Tilda range that really turned his head. Um, he absolutely fell in love with this it's his favorite so you're getting half meters of all these different fabrics that i'm showing you now and this is the last of our tilda chic escape we do not and will not get any more you'll like this one a lot you'll love this look at that with the yellow, incredible. You can mix and match these fabrics so easily. So, so easily. That is glorious. I used that actually um, with a yellow tone, sort of mustardy gold tone on tone fabric for a messenger bag. And I just used, you know, the kind of this for the front flap. And that was the only bit of that fabric in the whole bag. But of course it actually absolutely takes center stage my favorite fabric for the from the whole range is actually this print um, and you get two versions of it you get the pink and you get the green and this is my favorite print from the whole range because i just love its um, classic simplicity it's a very complex fabric it's not a simple fabric but just the color palette this delicious this divine the colours in there, I adore. 64.41. It is beautiful. Makes some great projects. We've literally 11 of these bundles left. And when they're gone, it's gone forever. Love it. Love it. I love it. I'm going to move these out of the way because I've got so many lovely fabrics to show you and I don't want to miss out on any of them. I'm doing this. I love this. Starry, starry night. Paint your palette blue and grey. <laughs> oh, this is yummy. This is yummy. So you've got half a meter of the starry starry night check that out and then half a meter of cope and blue solid from rose and hubble to go with look at that 
Oh, beautiful, beautiful combination. You could make some really, I would do probably a couple of tote bags or a really smart bag using this. I'd use this for the outer, this for the lining and a bit of trim on the outside, pocket tops, that kind of thing, little, you know, details, beautiful. We've got, and that is really the price, £7.78 for all of it. Amazing. <laughs> amazing seven pounds 78 surely that's for that but no you get both amazing amazing value there's only four of these left and again this is the last of what we have oh interesting every single one of you that's bought this bundle has multi-bought interesting interesting are you going to make lots of bags are you making to sell maybe i like that Stuart, i have some starry night fabric and my knitting bag from your book is made from it and some rainbow fabric oh chris i love that i need to see it i need to see it one of these bundles left that's it you can't multi-buy that it's gonna go it's gone it's gone it's gone right liberty now, this is just a lovely, lovely bundle of what Liberty do best, which is ditzy florals. And we've got a lovely selection here of seven meters. So you've got seven, I've got eight options here. I've got eight, I've got eight meters. Have I got the right bundle? Wait a minute, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, no, that's six. That's six in that. Okay, you show me the image. Oh, it's all, oh, it's all of this. They're half meters. Each one's, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh, well that blows my mind then. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's all of this. It's all of that. That's incredible. That's a, that is a mega bundle. That is mega. That is mega. They're so pretty. I think this is what Liberty do best. These beautiful, all over ditzy florals. And they do vary a little bit in scale. Some are mid, mid size, some are real tiny. Love that, beautiful with denim or chambray, something like that. You've got colorful, you've got monotone. Um, you've got sort of formal style. And then you've got very organic, and uh, informal spread across. You've got some vintage looking prints there. Lovely fresh summery print that. Buttercups, cornflowers, poppies. Little bit, um, I feel that's got a little bit Jacobean feel. And these, the I think apples, no, Pomegranates, pomegranates and uh, butterflies, love that. Pretty little floral, it's a, I'm having to put it down because it's weighty and a uh, little floral, absolutely gorgeous. You get, is that 14 different half meters? I'm gonna count them, two, three. 14 half meters and you're actually getting a meter of this for free. So I always say, pick the two half meters that you like the best and think they're the ones that were free. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. I think this would fit whatever project, if you love Liberty, whatever project you're making, you'll be able to find something there, won't you? You really will, you really will. Lots and lots of these in baskets, lots of these. <laughs> It's a, it's a need, not a want. Sue, Sue says, you made me laugh. My daughter learned to say from a young age to never say I want. This, however, worked a treat. Um, Mummy, daddy, nanny, whoever. I need it. I need it. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Sheila's got her bundle of liberty. Well done, Sheila. Maureen's got in touch to say, a very happy birthday, Stuart. You bring so much fun and expertise to us. Oh, thank you. It's my daughter-in-law's birthday too today. A bit younger. And it would have been my mum's too. Oh, Maureen. Oh, mm. lots of love to you and for your mum and for your daughter as well. Oh, that is lovely. I like sharing birthdays with special people. I like it. it I've always loved having a birthday in February because, you know, um, after Christmas and New Year, kind of everyone's partied out and uh, kind of spent up and no one's going out in January and that kind of, but by the beginning of February, and the weather's a bit miserable usually, although it's not too bad at the moment, and then February, beginning of February comes and people are sort of up for it. They're up for coming out for a meal or up for going and doing something. I just, I love it. I love it. And I love being an Aquarian. I love being an Aquarian. It's always felt like a, you know, pretty special star sign. <laughs> I love the whole, yeah, you know, that kind of the age of Aquarius and the, I don't know. I've always been a bit of a an old hippie yeah absolutely you know with my mala beads and my you know yeah no i love it i love it it's gorgeous right i'll pop that liberty to one side keep going through for that um can we do please the jason yenta yeah i've got the little colorful bundle colorful bundle i love jason yenta stuff i think he's brill I love this little range from him because it's so useful to have in your stash. It's hardly a blender, but you'll see what I mean when you see it. Look. It reminds me, you know those very glamorous screens that they sometimes have for photo shoots that are like big metallic discs that are held together with little brass rings and they sort of shake and shimmer and you get the light playing. Well, that's what these remind me of. Sequins. Isn't that lovely? And you get six half meters. So loads to play around with there. Um, three meters in total you've got and each one of them I can I can barely call them one color because you've got so many different colors I mean like this one is um, really makes me think of those you know makeup counters where you have all of the different shades of lipsticks and blush and lip liners, you know, all sort of set out, which always fascinated me as a child, you know. I thought they were just beautiful things. And I suppose I never realised at the time that I was sort of looking at a, a painter's palette, if you like, um, and, and it was appealing to my colour sense. Trudy's got in touch to say, happy birthday, Stuart. We hope you have a fabulous day. All our love, Trudy Bex and family. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Oh, no, I think that's beautiful. So that's the sort of pinks and reds and plums. And then there's a, a, a color which is kind of oranges, golds, tans, bronzes. Isn't it stunning? Well, go on, what haven't you told me about this bundle? Okay. Hannah made this bundle. Go on, what did Hannah do? Did she do this? I knew it. Well, that's outrageous. 34.94. Is that £10 off? Wow, I love it. I love it. I love it more now. I love it more now. I love it more when it's less money. You've got gold, but there's greens in there as well. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Just gorgeous. Kind of autumn leaves, linden and sycamore. And then you've got these gorgeous bright chartreuse greens. You have got, there's lots of lovely greens actually, emeralds. 
And then that one, that's my favourite, that kind of uh, aquamarine, it's sort of swimming pool colours, isn't it? What a lovely little range. And I love how there's that black in the background, because you know me in colour with black. I'm there, I'm there. All right, smash him. Pop that to one side. We're going to do this some Riley Blake. Let's do a little bit of Riley Blake. These are all by the half meter. I want to get a bit uh, rainbow again. <laughs> Let me show you where this is going. So these are these are my little um, palette of six fabrics. Okay, I'm going to start with this one, of course, because I think you're going to love this. So this is all seven ninety nine per half meter. <laughs> hello, hello. Let me just hold this up so you can see it. Look at that. Look at that. Joseph and his coat of many colours. Now, selvedge to the left and the right of the screen, which means that all of these stripes, these rainbow stripes, run the length of the fabric. So if you pick one and a half metres, you're going to be able to cut, for example, a wide border to put around your quilt that, say, really focuses in on you know, like this, sorry, like this, but that will be your full run, a metre and a half in those colours. So, you know, you can make the borders that way. You can have the rainbow running across. This perhaps is the more straightforward way, perhaps more obvious way of using that border fabric to run that across the border of a quilt or sashings or you could use this for gorgeous cushions or bags it would make great fun clothing Maureen agrees with me by the way about um, Aquarians I agree Stuart being an Aquarian is the best I'm January the 24th my mum's the 21st birthday pre uh, I was her birthday present she said that's cute that's cute one of my very best friends Sally was born on the 12th of Feb and her dad's birthday was the 13th and he always said that she was his best birthday present oh yeah it is well i'm i'm third of february and my mum is the 7th of february and she never said i was the best birthday no, she did <laughs> my mum will be shouting at the television now i did say that i always told you that you did <laughs> Of course, I have to acknowledge my fabulous mum and my fabulous dad. Thank you for having me. Right, next up I've got ending 4-6. Because that is a bit of all right. Rainbow dragonflies. Um, what about appliqueing? Cutting out? Yeah, be lovely. There's also some nice space in the background that if you wanted to applique something bigger onto here and actually use this as a background for applique, I think that could work really, really well. Really well as a background. We often think of a background for applique being something really neutral and pale or, you know, plain, but actually that would work beautifully. What about doing a big shimmery moth or butterfly or dragonfly on here with all the little ones in the background that would be a fun project by the half meter remember 7.99 now let's go for something sort of much much lighter and um, more open in design this is ending 2.5 so this is a really crisp winter white background little stars i want to say that those stars are a really really deep purple or possibly blue. They're not black, are they? Oh, can we do a little stock check for somebody, please, for a viewer? Catherine's got in touch to say, Stuart, I was looking for your garden maze instructions. I can't find them. Have they sold out? I will get Ben onto it, um, uh, Catherine, and I will let you know. Um, all right, um, thank you. Um, yeah, love this one. Love this one. Make a really nice shirt, wouldn't it? Really nice shirt in that. Be beautiful for John or for me 
Or for you, of course, at home, Derek, what do you think? Would that make a good shirt? I think it would. I think it would. Uh, beautiful. It would also, again, be really lovely in patchwork, piecing, bag making. Gorgeous for, to line a bag with that. Now, another light one. Oh, no, let's do same design, but with a dark background. This is ending 4-2. So this is same design, little white stars on a, I want to call this a soft black background. It's almost a charcoal background rather than a real intense black, you know what I mean? And then you've got these wonderful rainbow shooting stars, almost like fireworks, but silent. <laughs> um, lovely, really lovely. Viv says, my friend was born on the 14th of February, Valentine's Day, of course, and her mum said she was her dear heart. Oh, that's cute. That's lovely. Yeah, I, um, I love the name, actually, Valentine. I think that's a beautiful name. I once went, Charlie and I went to um, a talk and a book signing and dinner actually with Valentine Warner who's a fantastic uh, chef and cookery writer and food writer really it was a fantastic evening he was awesome and uh, oh yeah it was fun and he, yeah he's called Valentine what a great guy um, garden maze instructions uh, <laughs> Catherine this is for you. Uh, there are 32 left, so you can get yours. It is 9.99. The code is on screen, BD7790. You get the instructions in there to make six, six different sized projects, everything from a cushion up to a king size quilt. Uh, loads of different ways you can set that block and um, really fun, beginner friendly. Okay, back to Riley Blake. HWYV05. This is pretty. Lots and lots of this uh, been snapped up today. It's really gorgeous, isn't it? Again, a crisp winter white background. Yeah, it is almost chakra like, isn't it? That uh, those that range of uh, rainbow symbols there. Yeah, it's lovely. Catherine, you're welcome, my love. Uh, really like that really like that again it would be really nice for dressmaking shirt making i'd like that really nice in a quilt um, and very very versatile this would work really nicely with um tula pink fabrics even though this is riley blake because she uses obviously a lot of these primary and rainbow colors and she also uses a lot of symbology in her fabrics um you know you think about something like uh Curiouser and Curiouser, that range inspired by Alice in Wonderland. There were hearts and diamonds and spades and clubs in all the fabrics, and you've got those in this fabric too. So that would blend really nicely. Maureen's message to say, Stuart, my dad, Charlie, good name, Charlie's birthday was February the 14th, and my husband, the 13th, we're all Aquarians except for my brother. We still love him. Ah, that's cute. You know, my fa family was funny. My um, mum and I, February, really close together. And then my dad and my youngest brother um, were 20th and 29th of December. Uh, so it's funny, isn't it? Sometimes families can be really close, close together. Um, a message. Come on, you. There it is. Happy birthday, Stuart. Enjoying the show as always from Christine Elizabeth in Durham. Thank you so much. I keep on looking, thinking that is a tiara I've got on my head, isn't it? Uh, yep. <laughs> Viv says, my mum always called me dear, but what she left on was that because I cost her so much money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Children are expensive, I hear. Uh, Ending 2-7. This is a bit different. This is that same fabric, but with a really deep violet background. Isn't that beautiful? It is lovely. 
And can I just show you the selvage? Because we do love our selvages here. They're dragonflies, but they're rainbow. Cute, isn't it? Yeah, I love that little detail. You know, my favourite selvage is Janet Clare. Because she puts little quotes, little, or little bits from poems, or along her, and they're just lovely. They're very collectible. Janet Clare. Mm, love it. Right, what should we do next? Shall we do... Yeah, yeah, this is lovely. A bit more cafe, I think. So this is a little bundle. Now in this bundle you're getting four half metres. Really nicely put together bundle this. I like this a lot. I'll open the fabrics out in a second, but what I, what I want to do first is show you how they work together. I really love that fabric. And this stripe is awesome. And then look at this for a coordinating pop. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, Catherine says, I've ordered the pattern and my bag pattern made with strips, my strippity doodah. Can we find those details for that, please, Ben? Strippity doodah bag. I'm um, celebrating your birthday by treating myself. Catherine, I approve in spades. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've treated myself today as well, Catherine. It will come as no surprise to you. And I shall be treating myself for most of February, I think. Um, we'll get those instructions up for you. But let me just show you some of these fabrics opened out. So really lovely, big scale. That always makes me think of the Lion King. And do you know what it is? I, I just, I kind of see this as almost like a lion's mane. I don't know. And then there's also something quite African, like African wax print about the design and the colours. So yeah, I, I really love that fabric. It kind of draws me in. Um, this one, I always look and I see cotton reels on end. You know those ones that you get for dressmaking that like a really just a big massive cylinder of thread. Yeah. Or maybe it's, maybe it's like an abstract floral, you know, like almost like poppies in a field. I, can, I get that too. And then the stripe. The stripe for me is very, I think, Chinese. Uh, see a lot of striped fabrics like this in China or traditional um, Chinese clothing or Tibetan as well, maybe Tibetan. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. And then that wonderful pop of yellow. Julianne's got in touch to say, happy birthday, lovely. My parents' birthdays are the same day. That's awesome. The 11th of October. And my boys are within days of each other in July. Have a lovely day. That's absolutely glorious. Thank you, Julianne. It's lovely. Um, I tell you another another pair like you, um, Kerry from Living in Loveliness and her husband Craig, their birthdays are um, day, you know, this day and the next day. Yeah, yeah, cute. Right, strippity doodah instructions. We'll, we'll give you the details on screen. One of my very most popular patterns. Um, it's 9.99. There it is. You get the bag instructions for two different sizes of bag. You get the deep bag, which is shown in the sort of pinks and magentas. And then you get the small bag, which is shown in the golds. I used a sort of almost batiki range there. You get instructions for how to make fabric handles or how to use acrylic handles. And it's also got kind of like wide sides with magnetic fastenings at the top. So you can open the bag out so it's more of a rectangular profile or you can pop them together to sort of close the profile down so really versatile works it's designed to work with two and a half inch strips so if you've jelly rolls or two and a half inch strips in your collection and you want a really fun addictive bag pattern that's the one it is time for a break 
I'm super stoked and excited for the next hour because Delphine is back and we've got her gorgeous tassel cushions. These are beautiful. Do not go anywhere apart from to the kitchen to get tea and a slice of cake because that's what I'm doing. Okay, see you in a minute. Bye. <music> Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favorite presenters, guests, and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favorite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day.
Da, 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 da. I just, I want that music. I'm taking it home. <laughs> welcome back, welcome back. Still got the tiara on. Hey, yeah, you're right. How are you, Delphi? Hello again. You okay? <laughs> hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> I said I've got to tell you this because it's been tickling me for ages. We had a t uh, one of our technicians in earlier on doing a little repair, I think, on one of the cameras, an engineer. And I, there was one point where I was showing something and I went, hello, hello, hello. And I just saw you go. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh, you poor thing, you poor lamb. Didn't know where he is. Um, just wanted to quickly mention, before, we've got four panels left for the light grey rainbow bag, 19.99. Everything you need for the outer, the lining, all of your rainbow inserts that you can play around with and mix and match, and full instructions all printed on the panel, 19.99. There are four of them left. Be quick. Now, despite the tiara, this hour is not about me, Delphine. <laughs> it's about you. Oh and your glorious new projects for us. I'm in love with these tassel cushions. I love them. I think they're just so much fun. Tell me about them. Um, so, with, well, for the restart, a bit of Osnaberg, loads of different patterns to choose from, so over the top, loads of different techniques, fun, just really cool, really on trend, really just funky. You have that funky. one. I'm going to grab, oh, sorry. You know, you can I shake your tassels. Shake. I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> Shake your pom poms. Shake your pom. I kept calling them popper doms. Pom 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 poms. Pom poms. I kept calling them pom poms. It's been it's been a week. <laughs> They're beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. So much fun to make. Yeah. So much fun to have as well. And they've got that lovely boho vibe. Very boho. Really. Out in the garden, in your garden room, maybe your conservatory. Yeah. These these are very much in interiors. Mm -hmm interior design shops right now very on trend for the spring and summer and the other very very expensive yes Delphine. Very. very expensive yeah we, we was having a look and we found one similar to this for about 75 pounds 75 pounds yeah. 75 pounds yes mm. 75 pounds and uh, you could be making these and having all the fun yourself at home. We've three colorways available, a blue, a yellow, and a green version. Yellow's in the lead right now. Now let me show you what you get. So is it both ve Yes. So it's this, no. You can mix them all up. Okay. Yeah. You can, yeah, I'm just a bit confused, but we'll 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 get there. Tell me what you get in your kit, hmm. and then I can find it. It's not a problem. The Bohemian Cushion Collection. So you get your full instructions, of course, and again another stonking value pattern. So you get your. So this is the yellow version, yeah. So you get both variegated um, yarns. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you get your two variegated yarns. You get. Can you show me the web image? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. You get your three skeins: your yellow, your blue, and your red of embroidery floss. And you get your Osnaberg as well, plus your pattern. Correct. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. There we go. That matches the web image, doesn't it? Perfect, thank you. So this is what you're getting. So you're getting yarn, Osnaberg, thread and pattern. So that's the yellow version and that's in the lead right now. Now there are two other options, the blues and the greens. Let me show you blues first. These are Now you're confusing me because there's three skeins of floss. Yeah, blue and a purple and an orange variegated. They've all got three skeins with them. So I'm going to say that it's those maybe. So you get your turquoise yarn, you get your navy blue yarn, you get your Osnaberg, and then you get your embroidery flosses and your bohemian cushion collection pattern. Now Osnaberg wise, you're getting a meter of fabric. Delphine, how many cushions can we make with one oh, meter? 
I'd say uh, at least two, maybe even three. If you awesome. used, if, if you did something on the backs, something a bit different as yeah. well, you'd be able to make about four or five. Yeah, you could put a pattern fabric on the back, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Dig into your stash, yep. find something that tones. Yeah. And if you've got any skeins of embroidery floss as well at home, dig them out, go wild. Yeah, because the, be the, the best thing about th this type of style of cushion is that you don't want to go matchy-matchy. That's the whole point of like all different types of textures and colours so you don't want it to be like oh I need more pinks because I've got a pink in there you want it all to be almost quite clashing and that's what makes the bohemian style work totally agree and then this is the blue this is the blue so oh I like really like this I really like this you've got your pattern your Osnaberg you've got this sort of duck egg blue that's actually called dicky bird which is perfect dicky bird and fluffy clouds get in I love it that's cute so you get those and then you get your embroidery floss which you're getting a couple of shades of green and a buttercup yellow that is going to look stunning is this the one we're doing today yeah I'm just doing I'm going to show a bit of everything awesome today. I love it everything. I love it love it love it yeah. this is a perfect project right I'm going to put that to one side and can we please dive in oh we've done green haven't we this was green, wasn't it? With the duck, with the turquoise, we've done that. We've done them. We've done them. Calm oh, down, Ben. Lovely. Oh, I was just right. um, jumping ahead and having a bit of a play. Uh, so I'm gonna. Can I borrow a pattern? Yeah, of course you can. To show all the all the patterns are at the back, and there's loads of different. Types. Oh, I should just mention the pattern on its own is available, Delphine. You can buy it for nine ninety nine. You see the colour of your money. Oh, lovely. <laughs> and you know, because it is, we do say collection, so it's not just one pattern you're getting. You're actually getting five patterns in the one. So let me show you all of these. That's great value. So I've got all of these different patterns to show you. So we're getting, yeah, I've already done. Yeah, so that's two, so three, four, oh, wow. five. So you're getting all of these and you can mix with all the diff if different types. Love them. They're very New Mexico. They're yeah. very, aren't they? They're very mm. sort of holiday, relaxed. I yeah. just love them. Yeah, just really cool. Something just a bit, like you say, to, to make, to buy something like this, it would cost quite a lot of money. But to They really them. would. And also these patterns, you can use, they're you, transferable to all the projects as well. So you can use them in loads of other ways. Well, this would look so gorgeous on a bag. Yeah, and I would and include the, the tassels yeah, on the definitely. bag. You know, almost quite a simple um, tote bag style, mm. but maybe do something like a flap over the top, tassels yeah. at the bottom, and then rucksack straps. Yeah, that's yeah, almost like quite like a summery type yeah, vibe. Yeah, yeah. Let's go for a picnic. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. Off, off you go. No, it was an offer. <laughs> you can make one. It was an offer, Delphine. <laughs> do you want to come on a picnic? Oh dear. So I'm going to choose. So I'm going to show you different techniques and how to make them as well today. So I'm going to have, I think I'll choose this one. So I'm going to, that one. So you're that. using a light box again. Yeah. But I'm thinking that those lines are so bold and Osnabur oh, is quite easy you to will trace be able through. To see. You will be able to see through them. So. Mm. I just want to show you how I get them on the fabric. So could I steal that friction pen? You absolutely can. We've got friction pens on the show. Um, I won't put details up yet, but if you want to hop onto the website and get yourself a friction pen, we've got them. You're using the red there, aren't you? Yeah. So you just trace over whatever pattern that you like the look of. And I'm going to go with a zigzag. So this, I mean, you feel free to, you know, you can make your own, but I've put these patterns together mm. in, a, in a way so I know, so all, you're going to be able to do different textures because that's what this is about. It's just adding as much texture as possible to mm. your work. So when you get to the end of one, all you do is just shimmy it down a little bit mm -hmm. and then you can carry on with your design. I could imagine using these patterns and this embroidery style on a quilt now, mm. integrating it with patchwork. Yeah. Imagine a border on a quilt with these designs in. Yeah, that would look really nice, mm. actually. That's just giving me another idea. Good, excellent. <laughs> 
So we'll have that one, and then I think I'm going to have some of these little dashes. I like these. Very simple. Let's now, say. do we need to be expert embroiderers to make these <laughs> no, projects? Really not. Ooh. If anything, like so, I've done these in different ways. One I've used machine and one I've done by hand. I just oh. think you can do them in just so many different ways and oh, make I them. I hadn't realised. Is that one done by machine? That's done by machine. You're going to show us how? Yeah. Oh, nice one. Yeah. So, yeah, there's lots of different ways you can do it. So I quite like the handmade look because I think it gives, makes it look quite rustic. Agreed. Because that, well, that one's my prototype. I just put that together to see oh. what would work. And the fun's in the making, isn't it, yeah. as well? It's definitely in the making. Just think that is glorious. And you know, it's like a, a lot of people upstairs is one of the um, girls upstairs actually wants these. And I know Ben really likes these as well. Mm. Always mm. just saying that. <laughs> but yeah, you get loads. Thank you. Ben wants them in his bedroom. Oh, I love him. He's very creative, is Ben, isn't he? He is, he very is. Creative. So first of all, I'll show you how to do some on the machine. Let's have a bit of a dark thread. So what you want to do is cut your, cut a bit, bit of yarn a lot longer than what, you're, what you think you're going to use it. You know, you know, make sure you've got enough. Okay. So not just the length of your arm. No. Because I always tend to use my arm as the yeah, measure. I think it depends on what, how long you, um, usually I've just done it longer than the fabric, but that will just be for the straight line. And then I'll show you how to do it as a zigzag. So you do need a needle with a wide eye. Mm -hmm. Wide mm -hmm. eye? Yeah. Large, yeah, large eye. eye. Mm. Cock eyed. I haven't got my glasses with me. There we go. What I want to do is to secure it, is to tie a knot at the end. that off so it doesn't show through the fabric okay and then you come through the back pull it all the way through now if you select your zigzag on your machine yeah turn the stitch width down by half and the length up by half So quite a narrow, but quite a stretched out yeah. zigzag, understood. Yeah. And then, I've got it on the right one. And then what you're going to do is, don't put it too tight, but just go it over your line. So you might want to turn your machines down ever so slightly. So you're machine couching the yarn to the Osnaberg. Yeah. So clever. So clever. Love that. But that's why, you know, be careful to not pull it too tight because otherwise mm -hmm. it could um, spring back. Oh, look at that. That's clever. Can I say well done to Bruce, our director, for getting that shot? That is a really difficult shot to get. But I think that you can really see now how it's laying down. The yarn is being couched down with that wide, oh, sorry, narrow, elongated zigzag. And then, Thanks, you Bruce. know, you, d you don't just have to do it in straight lines. You can make sure you keep your needle down. Oh. Are we zigzagging? Yeah. Keep the needle down and then. So if you only had like an afternoon to make a, something, a quilt that's really funky. Or oh gosh, it, yeah. It, it, this would be really cool. Yeah, or add a panel like this into a bag. Mm. Gorgeous. Really cool. That Osnaberg is great, isn't it? Mm. Really good stuff. You can get Osnaberg by the half metre, by the way, from the website if you'd like. We we'll get the details up for that Osnaberg in a little bit. I just thought I'd throw that in there. Ba -ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. 
Spin that round. And see how quickly it is. It's amazing. It's, yeah. yeah. Really cool. Well, I'd be jumping in there with a mixture of the two, Delphine. Yeah, I feel, it just, just gives it a really nice look because it's going to give it diff more texture. The yeah. more texture it's got, yeah. the more interesting it is, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the nicer it's going to be. Yeah, love it. This is a play, this is playtime for adults. It really is. And yeah. I know that we often say that about our sewing time anyway. It's your opportunity to play, kick back, relax. But this is proper playtime, isn't it? Where you're just like, oh, let's just see where this goes. Let's just have fun. I really like this. Osnaberg's on screen. Two ninety nine. okay? How about two ninety nine for a bit of playtime? If you've ordered anything today, you've already paid your postage, get a couple of metres of Osnaberg and give it a try. Osnaberg is also great for um, twirls, by the way. I like Osnaberg for yeah. twirls. Or if you're doing something like Bootis. I used it when I, when, I, when I make toys, I use it. Do you? Yeah, it's like, you know, to, before I actually commit to the oh, fabric. Oh, okay, you like twirl the toy. Yeah. Oh, cool. There you go. Look. That's ace. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Really like it. So that's the way you can do it with the machine. Mm -hmm. Or you can do a load of bits by hand as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to mix up colours now. Great. Let's what do it. you want? I don't know. I'm literally going through all three colourways. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go for a bit of turquoise, I think. Or well, in fact, no, I'm going to have... I'm going to have a bit of lilac. Okay, so you're using the um, embroidery floss this time. Yeah, I'll go to go to embroidery floss now. Like I say, it just makes it more f fun because this has got like a nice silky sheen finish, mm -hmm. and I think the contrast with the silk against the the wool mm. and the the roughness of the Osnaberg mm -hmm. just makes it just more fun. Mm. So, mm. No, I really like that, and you can dye Osnaberg as well, yeah. can't you? I'll tell you what, I, if I. Um, had the time and if we you have them if you had any fabric paints or anything like that mm -hmm. you could mix in loads of different funky grungy mm. patterns and colors on the background Lovely. when we've both finished up our, our big projects that we're working on yeah. can we have a play day in the summer oh yeah should we do that yeah i'd love that yeah me yeah. too yeah we'll get all the good stuff out i mean i did that more much more you know a couple of years ago it was a little m bit more time mm. for playing with dyes and paints yeah. and oh i loved it i love all of that i just i think when you when you do this for a job it's hard to you know i, I just know what i'll be like i'll end up doing a, another craft and i'll really like it and then i'll just want to do that i know i've always said that about um paper crafting mm. i can't afford to start paper crafting because mm. i know what i'd be like because mm. i it's fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. And oh, like Sandra yeah. Rushton with her sand tangling. Yeah, I've just, I've just done one. Oh, I've just added to the tangle you've wall. You've added to the wall. I've added to the wall. Proud of you. And uh, yeah, I like doing things. I, I was saying uh, to uh, Lou, my friend, the other day, that I'd really like to do resin work. Oh, yes. I saw, I saw, I don't know, it was like a YouTube, and they were filling these blocks with dried flowers and mm -hmm. resin. Oh, beautiful. I think I know if I got into something like that, like, no. um, it'd be dangerous. Do you know what would be really cool? We should try and we should try and source this. Would be some moulds that are bag handles, circles or yeah. like trapezoid yeah. resin. Can you imagine doing things like dried flowers and oh, resin and bag. for bag handle? Oh, amazing! Or marbling or. Yeah. Or just like doing like really funky things, like mm -hmm. putting bobbins and mm -hmm. things in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or you could even put like sewing needles with yeah. thread in them and yeah. little yeah. buttons, yeah. all embedded. Yeah. Anyway, that's not what we're doing now, Delphine. <laughs> that's not Come what on. Do. Yeah. <laughs> so when you're doing this type of project, you want the stitches to be quite chunky. So I wouldn't okay. go anything less than a quarter of an inch. No. Sorry. There we go. So I've, all I'm doing here is just going over the top. Not, try not to pull too hard. If you've got a hoop, use a hoop. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm just doing little chunky stitches. I'm not being really tidy about it. You don't want to no. be too matchy 
No, and this meet. is not going to get you in the Embroiderers Guild. No. But, but that's okay, we're playing. But that's the whole point. It's right. That's to make it more fun. And yep. Yep. You know, there's loads of different things you can do. Michelle Marie has got in touch to say, my husband will not allow me to do paper crafting as we do not have the space, lol. <laughs> I yeah. get that, I get that. And the same. And I also feel like there aren't enough hours in the day. There really isn't enough hours in no. the day. See, I'd love to learn to weave. Oh, I spin, yes. but yeah. I'd love to learn to weave. But again, I yeah. just know it would be so distracting. Yeah, I'd like to do like weave landscapes and things like that. Gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. One day. One day. And I want to do beekeeping. Beekeeping. For when I retire. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, there's, yeah. loads of, there's loads of different things I like to yeah. do. But again, this is a lovely opportunity to try something different mm. for 26 99 Try something different. Get your pattern, get your Osnaberg, your yarn, your threads, and have a play. Make yourself a couple of completely unique cushions, or make it into a bag or two, and just have fun. Just have fun with it. So you just keep going with this. If you want to, you can get the pattern on its own. Really recommend the pattern as well. It's a fabulous pattern, as Delphine always does. Tons and tons of photographs, not just embroidery, how to make tassels, how to make pom poms how to hand embroider, how to do this embroidery by machine, which I think is super clever. Just brill. So many different options in one pattern. Yeah, it's great. So I'll just do some dash. I've got, I've got an idea. Okay. <laughs> you and your ideas. Work. No, let, well, let me, there you let go. Let me just, yeah. Just thinking, if I just do a few dashes, I'm wondering, you just give me an idea, weaving. We could weave. Oh, we too. could, yeah. Let's do a bit of weaving. <laughs> well, I like a whipped back stitch. Yes. That's a nice stitch, yeah. isn't it? There's loads of, so, again, you can do so much with this. Mm. I do just need to let you know at home, the Osnaberg is flying out of our warehouse, and I mean absolutely like Concord has been reinstated <laughs> and is carrying that Osnaberg up into the sky. That's how fast it's moving. So if you want to get some Osnaberg, grab it now, multi-buy because, we, well, it'll be out of stock. If it sells out, it'll be yeah. out of stock and you'll want it. Fabulous. No, nah. so <laughs> Steph says, you two talking are like an upmarket version, I'm glad it's upmarket, of women chatting over the fence. Um, I used to do, it's true, I used to do paper crafting, not so much now, I don't have the time, um, but it's a lot cheaper than fabric. I know, patchwork, quilting, sewing, it's an expensive hab habit, isn't it? But it it's is, lovely. But, yeah, I wouldn't be without it now. Uh, Susan says, I paper craft as well. It depends what mood I'm in, sewing or crafting in general, I just go with it. I love that. I love that. Yeah, because it, 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 your mood does depend on what, like, I don't know about you when you're creating something. Mm. You know, it, it can really affect what you actually make that day. Do yeah, you for think? sure. Well, sometimes my creativity is, my, is cooking. Yeah. I want to cook. I don't I want like to, to sew anything. Yeah. Do you cook? I cook, yeah. I love, to, I love cooking. Signature dish? Oh, I've got a couple. I make a banging roast dinner. Too. If I say so myself, yeah, yeah. I go all out on my roast dinner. Oh, yeah. Do you get double potato? I get. I do, do you two potatoes? Roast and mash? No, I'm a roasty girl. Now, yeah. give me a high five because I feel vindicated. <laughs> I feel vindicated now. I feel vindicated now. Because Charlie, a, I always do roast, just yeah, roast. Yeah, it's roast. It's a roast dinner. You yeah. Don't have, yeah. Charlie's always said to me, oh, oh. My my gran, you know, she always used to do mashed potato yeah. and and roast. Oh, really? No, really? no, no, no. I do roast in it, but I do mashed swede. Oh, yum. With loads of black pepper in it. Oh, and butter. Yeah, a bit of butter. I'm more like, because you know, it's quite a buttery type. It's, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah, make a good roast in there. Yorkshire puddings? Yorkshire puddings, Perfect. homemade Yorkshire puddings. Oh, good. Yeah. I like good, a good, good, good. Yeah, I like a good Yorkshire pud. Me stuffing. Too. Honey stuffing, roast parsnips. Of course. <gasps> yes. Yeah, all my steamed greens. See, I also love a Brussels sprout. There's not many. I love sprouts. I love sprouts. I love sprouts. 
Do you know what I'm going for a bit I really like at the moment? Turnips. Ooh. I like a turnip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I make a nice roast dinner. What about you? <laughs> no, what I'm saying? still giggling that I, ooh, I like I like a turnip. I like a turnip I do. Oh you know how to live, don't you, Delphine? Hey? Oh, like, hey, I told you, apart from you, the school run, I'm in my sewing room. Oh I'm here. Munching on a turnip. <laughs> I live a very quiet life. Yeah, that it's crunching noise. We're like, oh, Delphine's <laughs> arrived. Oh, here she is. Oh, oh you really are extravagant oh, in I, the extreme. I need to get out more. I really do. Oh, I just live in my yeah. own little world. Best, no, it's the best place to be. It's a real turnip up the books. <laughs> I've completely oh, trashed that. Anyway. Um... <laughs> what do I do for a ro roast dinner? No, exactly all those things. Yeah. Uh, cauliflower cheese. Yeah, I do that. For, I don't like cheese, so I, I make right. it. For, I still make it for Charlie and uh, Nick. Mm. And got to be homemade gravy. Oh None yeah. None of this gravy no. granules. No. You see, no. my mum taught me many, many things, and I am so blessed that she taught me how to cook from the earliest. Uh, it took me years and years and years to realise that I was not as my mum had told me from about the age of five, the best potato peeler in the world. <laughs> okay. And that it was in fact a ruse to get me to peel potatoes. Yeah, I Because I'm so proud. Oh, oh, best in the world. Oh, you give me you. those potatoes, I'll, pay, I'll oh, show you. I'll peel them. Yeah, oh, brilliant, so brilliant funny. bit of psychology there. Um, Oh gosh, what do I like to cook? I, uh, roast chicken. I do. A, yeah. I do a great roast chicken dinner. Uh, I do. I do a nice roast chicken gravy. You only cook your chicken, and you put. I put lemon and garlic and rosemary in it, mm -hmm. and loads of butter on the top, and mm -hmm. all the sauces. And then I put it on a bed of like you know your wasted veg. Mm -hmm. And then you know when you mash it all up on the pan mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. thicken it up. Mm -hmm. I always put a bit of sun dried tomato paste in there, <gasps> and it gives it the nicest flavour. Yeah. I always get compliments on my roast chicken gravy. Beautiful. Yeah. Great. I'm writing that down. I'm writing sun dried that tomato down. paste. I put it in everything. Mm, lovely. And I love I love all those lovely kind of traditional dish, you know, like stews and casserole, beef casserole. Yeah. yeah. Or um, I'm a one know. pot cook. Yeah, spag bol. Love oh, a spag, I love a spag bol. bol. That's my favourite food. That mm. and that and a curry is my favourite mm. food. A curry, a spag bol, or mm. a curry. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, really nice. We like it hot, don't we? We love it hot. We like it spicy. We like a bit of spice. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and I love. I do a lot of vegetarian cooking. Oh, do you? Yeah, because I was vegetarian for years and years and years. And um, some of my favourite meals are completely vegetarian. So, yeah, and Charlie loves them too. Yeah, I don't do much veggie cooking, just mm. a minute, but no, I do like... Double egg and chips? <laughs> I do like a one-pot cook, though. I, yeah. a, I think that's like, we've, sometimes when I do talks and things, I always put, like, cook, cooking and sewing are very similar mm. in some mm. respects. So mm. the reason why I don't really do dressmaking or follow really fancy recipes is because you have to be a bit more following the recipe right you know following the instructions holding you back whereas when i like this uh, i just sort of throw anything at stuff mm. and just hope for the best that's what i'm like when i'm cooking i just mm. sort of tip it all in and you know good luck everyone <laughs> no, is it no 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 <laughs> yeah you know what flavors work yeah and just sort of hope yeah know, just chuck it all in yeah that famous marmite and chocolate cake you make just chuck, it all, just chuck it all in. Chuck it all in. Beetroot and lentil cheesecake. Oh. Gorgeous. Yum. Uh, fab. So I've just done some little dashes there. And then, so I'm just going to, you can put little French knots in the middle of your triangles. Oh, sorry, Neve. Sorry, Neve. Neve's message is saying, oh, stop. I'm starving. I'm here. I've got anything to eat yet. No, because says we always had to have mash and roast potatoes on a roast dinner, as my brother doesn't like roast potatoes. <gasps> no. Kirsty Robson's brother doesn't like How roast. How can you not like a roast? They're the, they're, they're the best bit. I w yeah. As a child, I used to think, when I grow up, I, when I make a roast dinner, I'm just going to do stuffing and roast potatoes and yeah. gravy. Yeah. And your puddings. Best bits. Um, <laughs> 
Steph says, my, my mum makes the best Yorkshire puddings. Being Italian, she calls them Yox pudding. Bless her now. She's ill. No more roast dinners. I know she's poorly, isn't she, oh, Steph? I'm, I'm so sorry about that. Um, but still love her, though. Of course, of course. Oh, lovely. Yorkshire pudding. Oh. You are making me hungry. I know. You? Sorry. We'll change the subject. Let's get back to sewing. Okay. So I'm just putting a few French knots in now. This oh, is, show me how. So you pull your thread all the way out. So I put it all the way out. I'm doing some quite chunky ones here. And then you go one, two, three. Hold on. And then you hold it as tight as you can and as close as you can, going pretty much back in where you came out. Mm -hmm. And you put it all the way through. And then because this is going on a cushion, it might get used quite a lot. What I tend to do is come out pretty much where the knot is and then go down back through the center and that will just secure it that little bit more and it will stop it from moving anywhere so even if you get up and just throw it on the floor or whatever not these are not going to come undone so I'll do you one more time so you go through the, all the way through try not to pull too tight because otherwise it's going to pull the fabric and then hold it flat and then one two three hold it tight straight back down pull it all the way through and there we are back through and secure it into place like that. Oh. oh they're lovely and i love the extra texture that they give mm. Is that variegated thread yes mm, nice lovely so can we do some tassels yeah please? let's make some tassels mm. Right. I'm, I'm back I'm back to roast potatoes now sorry it's like soup gate all over again Janet Claire if you're watching I'm loving my celebration of soup book thank you very much with mash Viv <laughs> says my son-in-law's dad can't stand potatoes at all and even if by accident a potato gets put on his plate and then removed he knows Wow crikey <laughs> so tassels yes please so you just need a thick bit of card holding it down quite tightly this is seen a few tassels i'm afraid and then you're just going to wind it tight but not too tight i've done lots of experiments and it works out about 25 times gives it a good tassel good bit of oomph <laughs> yeah oh, see I wonder why tassels are called tassels. So there we go. So I've done. <laughs> Nobody answered. No. <laughs> I'm rambling. Everyone's just hoping that that was uh, just. Do you know what I mean, though? I, I know what you mean, but that's, why is a pom pom called a pom pom? Oh, I know the answer to that. Oh, do you? Mm. Go, go on. I'll have to tell you later. Oh, oh it's, it's not very no it's not very nice really oh really mm. oh because originally they were fur but oh, i'll tell right. you the story later mm. oh okay mm. okay mm. but they're not now these are made out of wool mm. which are gorgeous yeah there we go and then just go in that way just tying it off at the top. Tie it off at the top before you trim it. Mm -hmm. Where is it? There. Just do it a couple of times so you know it's not going to come undone. Julian Darbush has got in touch. And then just trim it off. Uh, I'd love a roast. I had surgery last year and food is now very limited. Oh dear. Aww. Enjoy it while you can. Julie, yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. You know, I do always say kind of eat, drink and be merry, you know, because you never know, do you? No. You never know. Oh, bless her. Right, so. Cindy's got in touch too to say hello Stuart uh, happy birthday have a lovely day thank you it's our anniversary today 44 years wow, happy sis. anniversary to you Cindy to both of you I've been married to my lovely husband Paul please give him a wave Delphine do it with Aww. me Paul Cindy Ooh. 
Happy anniversary! Oh, bless them. That's a long time. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah, I've had an electric shock off you then. I felt that too, actually. Yeah. So I'm just tying around the top with some a different coloured thread. I've lost my end. Hold on. I lost my end. Just put Osnaberg back up on screen. It's it's fast becoming our bestseller today. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Everyone's going wild for Osnaberg. That's a cool fabric. Great to have in stock as well. You mm. know, like, because this project would be really great to do with kids too. Oh, yeah, definitely. Especially with all the pom-poms and things. Or perhaps, shall we say, with less dexterous or less technically able people. Mm -hmm. You know, if you've maybe got somebody in the family you want to encourage to craft, but, but you need a nice, relaxed, easily approached project, I think this is awesome. You know what I mean? Oh, good tassel. You've got your little tassel. Mm. Oh, I've got a little stray end there. And you've got your little tassel. It's like Casper, the friendly ghost. And then you can attach them to you, the corners or to your cushion. Should we make some pom-poms? I know yes, you're desperate I'm to make desperate. some pom Do you want to make big, big pom-poms or small pom-poms? I pom -poms? want big pom-poms. <laughs> you can have the big pom-poms. Lovely. Let me just put this one down then. There's two different sizes, aren't there? When we say big and small, there's actually two different sizes of small pom-pom. Yeah. And one's bigger than the other. Yeah. Let me just trim that one. This is what I made earlier. Oh, okay. I would have finished that one off. It's all right. Oh, well, I've got to do small ones. Oh, and okay. You, and you do big ones. All right, no problem. I'm going to turn the heating up because it's like the Arctic in here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, so cold. <laughs> it is cold today. <laughs> I mean, it serves me right for wearing short sleeves, but I wanted to show off my new look my gems that's my lovely, jewels that. look that's really nice charlie bought me the leather thongs which are rather lovely and then john and susie made me the um, amazonite and that's turquoise really nice. gorgeous isn't it aren't you lucky what I else did really you get lucky for your boy. um i got chocolates wine whiskey people wow. know me so well um i got uh, a jar of jelly beans jelly, jelly belly beans. jelly belly beans are my kryptonite oh nice so they are had, my kryptonite so you've had a good birthday then i've had a really good birthday yeah and driving home today driving home today after the show and then out tonight in go. york thank you there you go. For a slap up meal. Oh, fancy. We're going fancy as well. Yeah, we You're are. Getting all dressed up. Fancy schmancy. Um, yeah, um, dressing up. And then tomorrow we're having friends over and then we're going to murder one of them. Oh, yeah, you said. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, we're doing murder mystery. Um, I'm really liking this one so far, look. It's gorgeous. Putting the pom-poms in the centre. There we go. Looks right cool, then. So are you going to remind us how to use yeah, the pom-pom Yeah, so I'll show maker. you how to do some as well. So I'll use... I might use this navy, actually. I did these once, actually, with a, I was guesting with a presenter who shall remain nameless. Not here, I hasten to add. And I said, you know what? These pom-pom makers are foolproof. They are foolproof. Uh, she took great delight in proving me wrong. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. That's quite yes, we ended up with about a thousand small pieces of wool all over the floor. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. I did that once. But did you? Right. Yeah. No. Okay, right. Not so am I right so far? Yes. So open it out like that. Like that. Uh, wait a minute. That's like it. that, yeah. Yeah, so choose which side you want to do first. This side. So have a bit of a tail of the. Um, yep. And now start tightly winding. Do you have to start down one end? Yeah, and then work your way to the other end. Mm -hmm. And then you just keep going all the way until it's full. 
And do you do sort of like one layer or do you build up I in build one spot? I build it up until you know that little curve bit, that little yep. crescent or whatever. Yep. I keep doing it until that's completely full. Okay. Yeah. We used to do these as kids, didn't we? With yeah, circles with, of cardboard. With cardboard, yeah. And it would take hours. And these take a couple of minutes, don't they? Yeah, these are great fun. And I noticed as well with one of your samples, you've used variegated yarn, which gives yeah. you splashes, blodges of colour. What you can do, oh, I should have tried it actually. You could do two walls at the same time. In fact, let's, I'm going to do that. Oh yeah, there. do two, two, what, to speed up and... Yeah, yeah. and to mix up the colour. So making your own variegated, if mm -hmm. you like. Mm -hmm. So you do one and then you close it. Okay, so I've done one. Now, what do you do? Do you carry your thread? You oh, wool just let across. It, yeah, you can do. I just chop so it. So close yeah, that. And then oh, you, you chop it. I do, but there's can there's you no rules. Chop, will you chop me as well? Okay. Thank you. So then you do exactly the same on the other side. Yeah. Okay. This is keeping me you get quite fairly quick quiet. Isn't it? It's great fun. <laughs> yeah, I love it. He's been wanting to do this all morning. Oh, I've been, it's, it's kept me on the straight and narrow path, let me tell you. Because I was told if I wasn't good, I wouldn't be allowed to make a pom <laughs> Oh, gosh. You'd be putting pom-poms on everything. Oh, I love a pom-pom. There we go. That's that one. Do, 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 do. Oh, my yarn's run out. Oh, it doesn't matter. It does matter, actually, because my semicircle's not full. Oh, it's not full. Just a minute, just oh, a dear. minute. It's all right, I've got, I'll just get the end of the yarn. <laughs> Keep concentrating. Yeah. <laughs> I keep expecting a mariachi band to walk in. <laughs> mm, this is going to be pretty one this one I like this right so I've done that yeah and then do you snip again or do you no so then you snip <laughs> down the center mm -hmm. so down the center is this the bit that's foolproof yes then you do both sides okay so ben wants to make one now. Everyone's wanting to make a pom pom. It's, it's, they are quite addictive once you get going. And then I'm just going to trim those other bits off. Yeah. Now. And then if you, you can trim, I'll just grab myself a, okay. a bit to tie with. Yeah. You want those? Thanks. <laughs> And then you put the string down the center mm -hmm. and you don't need any fancy knots or anything. And then put it through. And it's been lovely to have a bit of playtime for it. It is, hour. isn't it? And then you just it's tighten gorgeous. it. And then do it a couple of times. There we are. Now you need to cut your, right. cut your string, yep. and do a tie. Cut your string. Your string. Wool, your yarn. Wool yarn on. <laughs> I'll say it. <laughs> <laughs> so you pass it between the two. Pass it between the two and This tie was it. where it all went terribly wrong. You need to make sure we it's really, air. really tight. So get it right down into the Right into the crevice. Right, right into the crevice. <laughs> right, not so aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. <hilarious. laughs> okay. If all else fails, we'll just keep playing the mariachi band, don't worry. Yeah. I know. I've made the thing is, I'm doubting myself now, and I've made loads of these, and you just know that on if anything goes wrong, you know it's going to happen when you're live on television. Yeah, and then you just pull them apart. Right, should we do the moment of truth? Well, yeah. No, well, I do it this way. Oh, do you? You take... So you open... Oh, okay. Open up the things, whatever they're called. God, you stopped me then. And then 
Moment of truth. And the other side as well, or? And then put it apart. Oh, the pom-pom reveal. And then you've got your pom-pom. And then you pull the, Yeah. look at that. I feel I need to do a little bit of landscaping. Yeah, yours pom -pom needs a bit of a trim. <laughs> Trim your pom-pom. Big pardon, dear. Oh, I quite like it above the little tassel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to play doing a variegated one. I'm going to try doing two walls on the same one. Should we give it a go? Mm hmm To what? Oh, that's, oh, that is a very neat pom-pom. That's very nice. Very nice. Well, done. let's compare them, shall we? Tell <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. You've got bigger pom poms than I have. So it was ever there. Don't worry. <laughs> Look at those. That's Love cute. it. Yeah. Birthday pom poms. Do you want to make another one? Yes. Same size. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No worries. In fact, why don't we both do? If you try it with the the blue in the dark oh, together. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's do a variegated one. Let's do a variegated. And then I'll show you how to sew them onto your fabric. Oh, Kerry and Craig from Living in Loveliness have got in touch to say happy birthday, handsome. Lots of love, Kerry and Craig. Oh, thank you both. It was so lovely to see them both last night. They came out to celebrate. Is that right? Both things together. Yeah, both yeah, things together. Yeah, that goes, that's it. Yeah. So I'm just now doing it with two. Oh, Catherine says, when a pom-pom is on a Tamo shanta hat, it is called a Tory. Just thought I'd share. I love that, Catherine. And I do love a Tamo shanta. This is working out quite well, actually. Speeds up the process, I'll tell you. Mm hmm Yeah. And I really like... The very variegated look. We're easily pleased, aren't we? Yes, nothing wrong with that. I am a man of simple pleasures. Going around some friends for dinner later. But what have you been up to today? I'm oh, making pom poms on telly. <laughs> you call that work? <laughs> I know. I think some of my friends are like, you haven't got a proper job. <laughs> Like, well, I do okay. always say, you know, I used to have a proper job and this is so much nicer. This is, yeah. It's, uh, so much nicer. But as we both know, it can also be quite stressful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Um, can I just borrow your scissors, yeah. please? Oh, I like those colours together. Yeah, aren't they nice? They look, that looks really nice. Yeah. Yes. It's like, yeah, obviously. <laughs> I'll be interested to see how these come out, actually. Mm. See, oh, the aqua and the and cream's going to be nice, yeah. And I suppose as well, if you've got any wild or fancy Lurex yarns oh, at home. You could even or... put some embroidery skeins with it as well. Nice, yeah. Right, I'm going in. Me... Well, I can't wait to start using machine stitching to anchor threads. Mm. I think that's such a cool idea. You can, I, I did it, I, I know I did it in wool in the demo, but on the cushion behind me, I actually used embroidery skeins, embroidery threads. Oh, did you? Yeah, that, that's embroidery thread. Oh God, amazing. It's the, I thought that was the wool. No. Hmm. It's really cool. There we go. It's a cute little pom pom. Mm, it is. There we go. Let me oh. just choose my anchor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did that last time. <laughs> oh, it's been a long day. Oh. I know it's only nearly 12 o'clock, but we've been up for how long? <laughs> that is true. So. That is true. If you think by lunchtime, our working day is pretty much done, isn't it? Yes. But I've, I've got to carry on working when I get home. Well, and I've got to stay awake and alert.
for a big night out. Yeah, well, that's that's that first gin and tonic won't uh, yeah. it'll go straight to you, but it's cause you're tired. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Oh, we're going somewhere that does cocktails. Oh, lovely. Mm. What's your go-to cocktail? Cosmopolitan. Oh, nice. Or an apple martini. Ooh. That might be my real favourite, actually. Apple martini. Oh, nice. I like a mojito. Do you? Nice. Holiday drink, that yeah. is. That's a holiday. I've got to be on holiday for that. I don't like anything too sweet. I'm no. A, I like dry cocktails. Oh, no, I haven't quite there cut through. It looks really cute. Oh, that's really nice. That's adorable. Yeah, like that. So yeah. you pull that back. So sweet. And you pull that back. Oh, oh, big reveal. Mm -hmm. Do you want to trim? Do I liked the way you rolled it between your hands to fluff. It's almost like you know you do it with pastry or yes, I'm or a, or a stuffing ball. Yes, back to the food, back to a roast there dinner. There we go. <laughs> you just tidy it for one area. Oh, right. How's that? That's lovely. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, you can make Christmas decoration ones. Mm. Did we put the details oh. up for the That's very for the firm. pom pom? <laughs> I, th I think you wound yours tighter than mine. I did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very tightly wound. Sue says, "Hubby makes a Long Island iced tea that can take down a small elephant. <laughs> make mine a large one." Thank you. Uh, Teresa says, wishing you the happiest of birthdays, Stuart. The cushions are fabulous, Delphine. Oh, thank you. Absolutely gorgeous. Pom-poms date back to Scandinavian Viking times, says Anna. That's cool. And then to sew them on, really simple. So what am I using that for? I'll use, that. I'll use a bit of this. I can't thread a needle today. Do you want me to do it? I'm all right. I've licked it. <laughs> <laughs> You're on your own then, mate. <laughs> so. SARS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like that. Yeah. Uh, sew them on individually, so don't be tempted to have a long bit of thread and then do them one at a time. Right. Because it could pucker the fabric. I quite like them in the centre of these triangles. I think they look really cool. So take your pop on and do tie a knot in whatever thread you're using and pull it all the way through. Do it a couple of times, trying to keep it central. Oh, lost my thread end again. Oh dear. June has asked oh. on Facebook, does an apple martini count as one of your five a day? I think you know what I'm going to say. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It's juice, isn't it? Just that five you can of only, them. Yeah. You can know, no, because you, know, you can only count juice as one of your five a day. How can you? Yeah, sorry oh. about that. Oh, oh see, she's not happy, Boy. is she? <laughs> so put it all the way through. Mm-hmm. And then what I do, I just go back through it once okay. to secure it into place. Because you just know if you're going to have kids pop round, they're going to try and pull them off. Of course. Or Charlie. Or Charlie. <laughs> he likes pulling buttons off cushions. And then try and be central. Mm -hmm. And then what I do to finish, make sure it's all fluffed up, onto the back and then just grab the fabric a little bit and then tie it off. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And just do that a couple of times. And then that pom pom's not going anywhere. That is <laughs> well and truly. I want that on a t shirt. <laughs> secure into place. Fab. And then you do exactly the same by attaching your tassels. Mm -hmm. But just looking at that bit there, it looks 
It's coming along quite it nicely. It really that is, one. yeah. It's great fun. And then you can put all your pom poms on there. I'll probably put a couple of those, the smaller ones, would look nice above the mm. tassels. Or you can have your tassels in the corner. Or you can have your small pom poms in the corner. Mm. You could double up on pom pom. You can have a, you know, double up with a tassel on the end. Wow, wow. Couldn't you? Yeah. What? I do like pom pom trim. Around anybody who knows me knows I love pom pom trim. Yeah. Makes so, everything better. It does. You see, you can make a whole row of them, like you say. No, yeah. Just have fun with it. That is the world I want to live in. Yeah. Love it. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Happy Gorgeous. World. Gorgeous. <sighs> right. I'm going to leave you with a, 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 a beautiful and slightly depressing thought. Um, Sue and I are both disappointed that chocolate oranges do not count as one of your five a day. But I think we have established that an apple martini does. <laughs> so have an apple a day, keep the doctor away. All right, thanks Delphine. Thank no you for worries. sharing my birthday with me. No, thank you for having me. Thank it's you. been wonderful, thank you. Thank you for sharing my birthday with me. Now, in the last hour, we've got the Elner 680 Plus. I'm going to give you a bit of a tour, but also I've got myself a quilt sandwich together. I've got my stuff ready and I'm going to be sitting doing some quilting and maybe answering some of your questions about free motion quilting and stuff like that. I'll be drinking tea. I'll be eating cake. It'll be fun. You're invited. I'll see you after this. <music> Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters 
and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Well, welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me for the last hour on Sewing Street on my birthday. It is my birthday today. If you buy anything today, or if you bought anything yesterday, you'll get one of these pin badges sent to you. I'm just going to lean forward. Now, you won't get the one that says, it's my birthday. You'll get this one that says, Sewing Street. And then a very small, discreet letter across the bottom. It says, Stuart Hillard. And there's a little rainbow, because you know it's my favourite colour. Um, and you'll get one of those. If you bought yesterday, and you bought today, you'll still only get one. But, um, but you will get them. So I'm going to spend this hour indulging myself by doing one of the things I absolutely love the best, which is quilting. And also talking about sewing and sewing machines because I love it. I'm just winding a bobbin. This hour is all about the Elna 680 Plus. Now I want to tell you about a really, really fantastic deal and it is a really fantastic machine. Let me tell you the deal first of all and then I'll tell you all about the machine. So the Elna 680 Plus is £1,249. Now please, if you're going for it, go for the split pays. There are five of them, which is the maximum split pays that we ever do. All you need to pay is £249 and 80 pence today and then for the next four months after that you'll make another £249 and 80 pence payment each month but we'll send you the machine after the first payment. 
Um, you're also going to get £59 worth of freebies thrown in and they are specific Stuart Hillard freebies and I'll show you them in just a sec and then you're also as soon as you make your purchase £40 credit is going to ping into your Sewing Street account for you to spend at Sewing Street. So that all adds up to £99 worth which to me sounds like a really good deal. Um, so, so that is the deal that we've got. Ooh, just let me just give me one second. There we go. Right, okay. I'm just threading up my machine here so I can do some stitching. I want to tell you a little bit about the features of the Elna 680 Plus. Now, I've got the Elna 680 at home and John's got the Plus. Well, John would, wouldn't he, hey? Um, and uh, we both absolutely love, love, love this machine. Um, I've had mine now for about eight years. I've written two books with it and um, it is a fantastic machine it's an absolute workhorse from one of the biggest names in sewing machines Elna now I don't know if you know this lots of you do I'm sure but Elna and Janome machines are both made by the same companies so when you combine all that experience together they really really know what they're talking about with sewing machines all right they really know what they're talking about um and this machine is amazing uh, we've got a few uh, i'll let you do the talking for a sec <laughs> hi Stuart. happy birthday this is from lynn who's in angus i have this machine it's a brilliant machine it's so easy to use i love the knee lifter i think that's a really important point i'll talk about that in a sec uh, hayley says i have this machine just made a stitch directory of all the stitches in a fabric book for it it's a workhorse and such a lady to sew with. I like that, I like that. We've got a question as well. Not having an overlocker, is the overcasting stitch good on this machine? Yes, we'll have a look at that during this hour for sure. Now, um, the machine itself, you've got a few hundred stitches. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see. You've got a few hundred stitches and they're all there at the top all laid out you've got five modes you've got five modes mode one is all your utility stitches mode two decorative mode three is your alphabet uh, mode four is your european alphabet mode five is your cyrillic and actually there is mode six as well which is your monogramming and those monograms are all nine mil wide because your widest stitch width on this machine is nine millimeters which is bigger it's normally seven uh, but it's nine mil on this so really good size monogram uh, you've got all the stitches you would expect from a machine like this you've got loads of utility stitches stretch stitches dressmaking stitches as well including overcasting uh, you've got lots of different buttonholes to choose from you've also got button sewing function amazing haley has got in touch to say the overcast stitch is absolutely beautiful and it's so secure there are a few stitches um, and even nicely finishes denim yeah there are several different overcasting stitches you can choose because if you want a stretchy overcast we've got a stretchy overcast on here as well for things like jersey and t-shirt fabric so amazing um, it is of course um, top loading bobbin, uh, automatic needle threader, easy bobbin winding as well. So setup's really quick. You might have noticed this little portal in the front. That is for your knee lifter. Now your knee lifter is a metal bar and it looks exactly like this. And what this does is it actually plugs in right here into that portal, okay, just here and then it sticks sort of out from the machine and then down and this part here 
hangs under the table so it would kind of hang under like that and what happens basically is you rest this part of the this side against your knee or your thigh and it only takes a gentle movement you push on that and what that does is it automatically lifts and lowers the presser foot so you're not having to do it with your hand as I am now it's all done with your knee and what that means from a practical point of view is you can keep your hands on the top of your sewing all the time lift and lower the presser foot you can adjust the position of your fabric and carry on sewing amazing when you're doing things like applique sewing around more complex shapes and also when you're quilting so for me it's the ultimate quilters machine but it's perfect if you're doing dressmaking absolutely fantastic if you do home decor um, now let's talk about the package that you get with the machine do we have a slide for this all the different feet, all the different add-ons you get. So here we go. You get your standard foot. You're going to use that for most utility stitching. Um, you're also going to get your rolled hem foot. Do rolled hems, fine hems, a zipper foot, a satin stitch foot, and an open-toed version, a blind hem foot, your overlock or overcasting foot, your quarter-inch seam foot for patchwork. But I'll be honest with you, I use stitch 06, which is also set up for quarter-inch um, patchwork with the normal foot on. Uh, you get a darning foot, that's for free motion quilting, and you also get a convertible darning foot. And I'm just going to show you on the countertop what those are. Okay, so right here, this is one of the questions I get asked all the time about sewing machines. Do I get a walking foot? Do I get a darning foot? Okay, so first of all, uh, yes you absolutely do get a walking foot included. So you get your walking foot, um, some brands of walking feet, 110 pound, you're getting yours included. So add this up. <laughs> you get your darning foot or your hopping foot for free motion quilting. Um, beg your pardon, it is this one right here. So you get your, your hopping foot, okay, with an oval um, base on it. Now, if you want to use things like PARS quilting rulers or any quilting rulers, you cannot use your standard foot, darning foot, with rulers. Even if this part of the foot is round rather than oval, okay, you have to buy a separate ruler foot and the reason why for that is not because of round or oval although it does have to be round but if you've got a round darning foot you can't use that it's the depth of the foot these ones all darning feet standard darning feet is quite thin the foot is quite a thin plastic if you put that up against a ruler that will hop over the ruler and you will break your needle and your timing on your machine because it will hit the ruler uh, the ruler feet are thick, thicker than the ruler, so that it always butts against the ruler and cannot hop over it, okay? So, just wanted to clear that up. So that's your darning foot, but then you also get the convertible darning foot. This has a little screw on it here, and you can actually take this end off. So you get open-toed version. You also get a closed toe version that you can just pop onto there and you get a clear view attachment which you would pop on there so it's absolutely amazing um, you get a button sewing foot button hole foot uh, you just get the whole shebang it's amazing you get so many different hundreds and hundreds of pounds worth of feet included with this machine it is well worth the money uh, it's a it's actually amazing value for money because when you consider all of the versatility i've used the elna 680 for the last eight years written my last two books with it and it has had everything i needed and more 
So that's coming from me and that's the best recommendation I can give. Now, I did mention right at the start that you do get a special package of Stuart Hillard things with this and I wanna show you what you get. So you get um, two packs of um, Indigo Elements Fat Quarters. Okay, so these are all my designs. You get five different designs in there and another five designs in there. So you get two packs of Fat Quarters. You also get my Mendy bag panel. Now this is a black and white, gorgeous black and white bag with these fabulous um, Mendy style, that kind of henna um, decoration style panels. You can make it up and you get black and white stripe and things like that, it's really fun. Um, you get all your lining as well, that's all included. And then if you want to, you can have it as a black and white bag, but if you want to, you can colour all these in with things like ink tents, pencils, wax crayons that you heat set with an iron, you can use fabric marking pens, you could tie dye or space dye um, or watercolour paint the panel before you make it up. You can really have lots and lots of fun. You get that included as well. And then you get two of my most popular patterns. Some of you have been buying these today. You get the pattern for my garden maze course quilt which gives you a quilt in six different sizes okay all the instructions and then you also get the pattern for my again super super popular strippity doodah bag which you actually get two different options you get the large and you get the small and you get the options for making fabric handles or using resin handles and actually at the top of the bag you have little um magnets either side so the bag can either be sort of fuller and more open or you can snap those together and create this sort of more closed profile so you get all of that included for free with your Elna 680 plus right i'm gonna pop the dining foot oh don't forget that 40 pound credit as well you're getting 40 pounds credit Think about what you might spend during our birthday week here at Sewing Street. It's our third birthday coming up, which I'm super excited about. Now then, there's our little screwdriver. Right, so another question I get asked a lot is, how do I change the feet on the 680 plus? Is it easy? Well, it is super easy. The vast majority of feet on your 680 plus are snap-on feet so do you see around here at the back you've got a little black button you push that and the foot drops off to re-engage it all you've got to do is hold that foot underneath the ankle and then clip and then i always lift the foot up again and that's my little test to see if it's properly held on okay so i'll drop that one off now um Sometimes, occasionally, you have to take the whole of the ankle off, and that's when you're using the darning foot or the walking foot. So, first things first, um, you want to either switch your machine off or you can use the lock button. Now, I'll show you what that is. This is super clever. Right on the front of your control panel, you'll see there's a little key button right here and that's the lock now if you press this look at what's happened up here the screen is now locked you can't whatever you do apart from pressing that lock key you can't operate the machine the dog can't step on the foot pedal your granddaughter can't push a button and make it start working so if you don't want to turn the machine off, maybe you've got it all set up beautifully and you don't want to turn the machine off, um, but you want to be safe, do that. Okay, so now I'm going to unscrew this little side screw. Okay, so it's just a little screw right here. I'm going to unscrew that just a little bit, just enough to take the ankle off. And that's the ankle with the foot on it. And then I'm going to grab the darning foot and I'm gonna use the standard darning foot and it literally just slips on like that. Tighten that screw up with your fingers and then use the screwdriver just to tighten it the tiniest little bit. And that darning foot is now on. Now, while we're there, I'm going to drop the feed dogs on this machine. Now, on a lot of machines, you reach behind 
or you pull this off and there's a little button here on your Elna 680 plus it's actually at the business end of the machine where you plug the cable in there's a big white switch and you push that and the feed dogs now are dropped so I'm now good for free motion quilting so now I want to have a little bit of fun all right, so I've got my quilt sandwich all layered up. I've got some plain fabric on the top and the bottom. I've got some 80-20 quilt wadding inside. Uh, I'm gonna grab a friction pen and a ruler. And what I like to do for free motion quilting practice, and I recommend this for everybody, whatever your level of expertise, I'm going to mark some straight lines to start with and I probably wouldn't go more than about two inches wide. They don't all have to be two inches wide. I'm going to do one at one inch wide. I'm going to do one at one and a half inches wide and you know you'll get the hang of of what you're doing and why quickly enough. Okay so I'll just start with that and um, you know, it, when you've got your uh, feed dogs dropped and your darning foot on, you can sew in all directions. You can sew forwards and back, you can sew from side to side, you can sew round and round in a circle. Learning that control is the key to free motion quilting. Your quilts, whatever their size, king size quilt on one of these machines. You can do it, I've done it, you can do it too. But you've got to learn that control and you're not going to learn that control practicing on a quilt. It's too precious, you don't want to spoil it, you're afraid to spoil it and that really holds you back. Get yourself some calico or some Osnaberg or some cheap cotton fabric, layer it up with scraps of wadding and learn that control where it kind of doesn't matter. And use the skills that you used as a child learning to do handwriting. All these sort of things. We used to do it at school, the magic finger, and we would do all these shapes in the air. Practice, you're learning the motor skills. On your fabric, trace the design with your finger that you want to quilt. Trace it first of all. And I'm doing loop the loops here, but trace them not just left to right, but trace them right to left which is harder, but you may find yourself in a position on your quilt where it's easier to work backwards than to turn everything. What about if you need to do loop the loops going top to bottom? What about if you need to do loop the loops, I had to think then, bottom to top? You'll, pra you'll get as much value practicing your quilting with your finger on a piece of fabric or on the worktop than you will sitting behind your sewing machine. Use a pen and paper, practice doodling. All of these things will help. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my machine now and I'm gonna do a little practice. So I'm gonna work from, from left to right, just like with handwriting. So when you start a line of quilting, you wanna drop your presser foot and then I use the needle up, needle down button. Needle down, needle up, lift your presser foot and bring your work towards you. Now, if you've threaded your machine like I have <laughs> and you've snipped your thread off, it's more difficult to pull up. So I'm just going to give myself a bit of thread to play with. And I'm going to do that again. So I'm just going to do needle down, needle up and just pull that bobbin thread to the surface. Okay, there we go. Now I've got a proper tail to grab onto and we'll try that again. All right, so press the foot down, needle down, needle up, lift your presser foot and bring your work towards you and then pull on that top thread and you'll see a loop of thread. That's the bobbin. Grab that loop, pull it through and you'll now have endless thread. Right, so you've now got your bobbin thread on the surface and away we go. Right, so go back to the position you started in, drop your needle in the down position and then just hold on to those threads for a second and I like to do a few little tiny micro stitches. So really short stitches close together. 
and now I'm going to stitch up to the top of the line and I'm just going to stop for a second and I'm going to stitch straight across the line and then I'm going to stitch back down to the bottom and I'm going to stop okay stitch across the line and then stitch back up to the top Okay, let's start now. And what I'm doing here is stitching up to the top and then back down again. And I'm using the stitching the lines rather as a guide i'm not slavishly following them but i am trying to hit the lines as much as i possibly can now once you've got the hang of that you can start doing things like loop the loops you can do things like figure of eights you can do things like um, what we call ribbon candy where we curve round and back round and back all of these things look absolutely beautiful and um, create some really gorgeous effects let me go back in Now let me just do a little bit of stitching and I'll show you and what you're doing here is just doodling I'm going to do some figure of eight or wishbones and you'll hear I'm running the machine quite fast we can do a thousand stitches per minute I'm going to drop down let me just show you to begin with what I'm doing here so can you see just about here I've just started really simply doing some loop the loops and this is really rough just to get me started little loop the loops and then I've gone into some figure of eights here so you really are literally just doing like handwriting practice I'm going to do a little bit more now one of the things that makes it much harder for me is standing up to do this because I'm trying to control the speed of my machine but I'm also trying to keep myself upright <laughs> all right so if it sounds a little bit jerky that's why so I've done some figure of eight I'm going to do some ribbon candy now which is one of my favorites I'll tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to turn the speed down on my machine that's better show you this so if you have a look here now so here I started with my figure of eight <coughs> excuse me <coughs> or wishbone yeah and then I went into what's called a ribbon candy quilting which is a bit almost like an Elizabethan rough so you're coming around like a figure of eight but then around to the next one love that one 
And then one of my favorite ones, all of these are practice, but you can use them in your quilts as well. Let me just... This one is like um, upside down hearts and then right way up hearts. And again, always with these patterns, practice drawing them first before you try stitching them. You need to know the pattern first before you can stitch it. So if I show you this pattern here, so this is a series of hearts, the right way up and then upside down, the right way up and then upside down and you just follow that continuous path isn't that pretty <laughs> so these are some of the exercises you can do on the straight and then it's also really fun to do some designs using a grid so what I'll do there then is I'll draw out a bit of a grid now I'm gonna do a two inch grid I very, very rarely mark my quilt out with the actual design I'm going to quilt. I'm much more often going to draw out a grid. And actually a lot of the time I stencil the grid rather than draw it out. I'll use a chalk stencil with either a grid or straight lines. So I've drawn some straight lines. Now that would be a fantastic um, grid to work in if you wanted for example to keep loop the loops consistent or if you wanted to quilt a heart up to the line you know this kind of thing you can use them uh, that way but I'm just going to draw a grid and then work within that grid so I'll go two inches again Mmm, lovely. I do like a friction pen for, for quilting. Okay. And then I'm going to use this. Now I'm going to do some quilting called wine glass quilting. Okay, which traditionally what quilters would have done would have been to have used a wine glass or a tumbler or something like that, drawn around it on their fabric to create a circle and then overlapped that circle to create a series of overlapping circles that interlock with each other and create almost like petals as the circles interlock. But I'm going to show you how you can do it by machine using a grid. So what I'm going to do is, here's the path I'm going to take. I'm going to start up here and I'm going to bounce from corner to corner. Bounce from corner to corner. Bounce from corner to corner. And then I'm going to go, imagine this as a little box. We've done the left hand side. We're going to go over the bottom of the box, up the side of the box and under the top. Do the same again, over the bottom, side, under the top. Over the bottom, under the side. Now when you get to the top, don't go under. You're gonna go back down, top to bottom. So there's two rows. There's top to bottom, and then bottom side, top. Bottom side, top. Bottom side, don't do the top. First row again, bounce down. Bottom side, top, bottom side, top, bottom side, don't do the top, bounce, bounce, bounce. Okay, let me show you how you stitch that out. So I'll pop my fabric under the machine. Now I did one little thing here, which I didn't tell you that I'd done, but I'm going to explain now. One of the things that I get asked a lot teaching machine quilting classes is why do I get eyelashes? on my quilting, little, well, I'll show you what they are, because I started getting them to begin with. Right, look here. Do you see these? These are eyelashes. Do you see them? They look like little eyelashes or little pulls, right? And then look, 
eyelashes and then they've gone they've gone now it's all perfect how did I get rid of them well I'll tell you how I got rid of them I put my feed dogs back up because confession time now I don't drop my feed dogs when I free motion quilt and I think you get a better stitch it's controversial right so I'm gonna bounce down the side right into the corner this is my row one bouncing all down the side of my grid okay I'm on to row two so I'm gonna go across the bottom of the box into the corner up the other side and then underneath the bottom same again bottom up the side and under and after a while you can get a little bit more fluid right back to the top so I'm not going to close the line of stitching I'm going to come down the side again row one one two three and then across the bottom up the side and under I'm going to do one more row and then I'm going to finish this off and then I'll show you what it stitches so I'm bouncing down the side and then across the bottom row two up the side and underneath and whenever you want to quilt a quilt whenever I want to quilt a quilt I always get my calico out and my quilt batting and I warm myself up right so I'm back up to the top and you remember I said don't finish off across the top until you get to the very end and then you're going to bounce across the top and you're going to end up right where you started one two and three I'll cut my thread oops not like that like that and then let me show you what I've stitched so you can see the wine glass quilting so there's my first row there's my second and then my first and then when I got to the top here I just bounced across the top and I'm just going to turn my iron on and just remove those marks so that you can see hopefully interlocking circles the irons just warming up come on iron get warm I'm saying it's warming up and I don't think it is warming up are our plugs not working I don't think our plugs are working I had this earlier on with the iPad I tried to yeah tried to charge it oh wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute it was on cold operator error they call that those lines are disappearing and I just want to show you the effect and it's really cool and it's great fun to stitch as well there you go it's pretty cool isn't it and you can see there hopefully there's the circle the interlocking circle and here would be the next and here would be the next and it has almost like a sort of Japanese blossom petals it's really cool there's lots of variations on that so really really cool for free motion machine quilting also really cool with your walking foot and again to do that I'll just lock the keys out your walking foot goes on uh, it takes seconds to put that on it's done it's done okay so that's now done um, I'll unlock 
course my feed dogs are still up I've got my quilt sandwich so now I can do a little bit of quilting using the walking foot and um, if I'm doing something like cross hatching I might use the walking foot and a straight line or straight stitching but I think it's nice to mix it up a little bit so I'm going to go into mode two and I'm going to use stitch number one which is the serpentine stitch still with my walking foot and I'm going to do the same grid but I'm going to use the serpentine stitch and just show you what a cool effect you get using this. I'll just turn the speed up. So the benefit of using the serpentine stitch for a cross hatch instead of a straight stitch is that you can be a little less precise, which I think is good because that wobble in the stitch helps to cover up if you wobble, if your stitching isn't quite as accurate as it might be. And I'll do a little bit of this just to show you how it looks. If you're unsure about whether this machine's for you, I want to ask you a couple of questions and that might help you to decide. The first one is, what do you want to use the machine for? And really, whatever the answer, whether it's to do patchwork and quilting, quilting a big quilt or a small quilt, or whether it's dressmaking, and you want to be able to stitch jersey and thick fabrics, woolens, whatever you want to stitch, or if you want to do home decor, you're going to be able to do absolutely everything using your your Elna 680 plus. Now I've done a little bit of cross hatch there and I just want to show you so this right here ignore these little bits here this is where I traveled but here is my cross hatch using the serpentine stitch instead of just that straight stitch. It's so much cooler. It looks more like um, long arm quilting, I think. Yeah, really, really cool. Right, we had a question earlier on from um, a viewer who wanted to know about the over edge or the overcasting. So I'm gonna pop the ankle back on, the standard ankle so that I can change the foot and we'll do a bit of overcasting and we'll have a look at that. I think it was maybe Hazel that messaged in and said that the overcasting was gorgeous. But um, Wendy asked the question, uh, it was Hayley who said, yeah, it's fab. Now then, let me just check the foot. So let's do stitch number 14, so mode one. 14 and it's saying I need foot M so I'm just gonna find foot M now if I just show you this is your overcasting foot okay all of the feet are debossed with the letter you can see there the letter M hopefully and what you'll see here as well is do you see that you've got these little pins right here these little fine pins and what their job is, is to hold the raw edge of the fabric down flat while the stitch is taken over the pins. Those pins actually don't, they, the, the thread slips off the back of them. So it, the pins hold the fabric down and stop it curling and distorting so you can stitch over them, which is what gives us a really nice finish. So I'm going to pop that foot on and I'll just expose one raw edge and we'll do a little bit of stitching down here So 
so remember the purpose of overcasting is to create a neat finish or a neat edge on things like dressmaking projects and home decor and a lot of people will invest in an overlocker but your Elna 680 Plus has got the overcasting function. So what I want to do is just show, if I flip back the fabric so you can see it against the fabric, I don't know if that, no, actually it's probably better against the table. Can you see that edge now that I have overcast? Flat as you like, all neatened, raw edges captured that's good isn't it really nice and that's on a single layer of fabric quite often you might be doing that over two that's easier than one one layer of fabric would wrinkle up you know um and if you try to use your regular foot for overcasting which is what most of us do we'd use something like um you know a zigzag or something like that um and if I do that, if I pick a zigzag, let's go stitch 11. And I'm just going to zigzag over the edge. This is what most of us try and do. And the effect you get, I mean, it, it sort of looks quite nice. It looks okay, it looks okay, but I want to show you what has actually happened, right? So this is a zigzag along the edge. This looks really neat, doesn't it? But actually what's happened is it's folded the fabric, which isn't great. When you compare, this is supposed, this is the same run of fabric. This is your overcasting. That's what it's supposed to look like. So the overcasting is brilliant and you have overcasting stitches for cotton woven fabric like this but you also have um, overcasting stitches for knitted fabrics, stretch fabrics because the overcasting's got to stretch with the fabric you've got that option here as well. So that's really cool too. Now then um, let me remind you what you get with this machine. You're getting your fantastic Elna 680 Plus sewing machine. You've got accessory case on the front that can be removed to expose the free arm. You've got an extension table and the extension table is awesome. It's a really big one. Uh, it is very sturdy and strong. This is your extension table that you get. Really solid, really big. So if you're doing things like quilting, you want to use that to spread the weight. You've got your knee lift. I wouldn't consider a sewing machine now for my main kind of machine that didn't have knee lift. It's so important for me. You've got thread cutting, automatic needle up, needle down, locking function, reverse sewing. You can sew with or without the foot pedal. You've got your walking foot included, your darning foot included, all of your dressmaking feet, hundreds of pounds worth of feet that ordinarily you would have to buy as extras. And things like the um, extension table, the, um, the knee lifter, you know, all of these things, they're all extras really. Your darning foot, your walking foot, your convertible darning foot, um, these are extras that you would normally have to buy. Now, £35 for a knee lifter, £110 for a, uh, for a walking foot, probably £25 for a darning foot. Um, you, you've got to almost work from £1,249 and take off the money for the things that you'd buy as extras. And then take off the £59 worth of freebies, then take off the £40 cash back and say, well, what am I really paying for the machine? 
and the basic feet and how does that compare with some of the others you know what I love about my 680 is the fact that I've used it for eight years I've never had to buy an extra foot for it. I've, it's never not done something that I needed it to do. I just love it. Wendy's got in touch to say, great Stuart, Stuart, uh, great show Stuart. I have this machine. I'm learning myself new things every day. Love it, a fab purchase. Thanks Wendy, that's a brilliant endorsement. Just to say, there are extra feet that you can buy for your Elna if you want to. So for example, if you really wanted like a gathering foot, you can if you really want you can buy overlocking feet that have a cutting blade so if you want the function of cutting and overlocking the edge you can actually buy those feet for sewing machines so but i've never needed one i've never needed to do those things um, with my elna so everything that i need came with the machine from the get-go now the deal that we've got on screen is for the my birthday and my birthday only. It's £1,249, including £59 worth of goodies thrown in and £40 credit put into your Sewing Street account. You've got all of those extra feet, the walking foot, the darning foot, the extension table, the knee lift. You're only paying £3.95 postage and packing. It's absolutely amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Five split pays, um, if you would like them. I'd take them, I'd take them. I wouldn't pay 1249 pound today. I'd pay 249.80, no interest, no credit checks. I get the machine after I make the first payment. I have five months to pay. You could be an absolute dab hand by the time that final payment comes out. Uh, Family Comforts has got in touch to say absolutely loving the birthday show Stuart love these free motion quilting tips hope you're having a great day many happy returns love Sandy Millichip Masachi thank you ah oh, we're on together soon um, Christine has also messaged to say using the embroidery foot and free motion is a fantastic and quick way of repairing my hubby's jeans for working on his motorbike yeah because it's called a darning foot exactly because you can go forward and back side to side and do little repairs now one thing before we wrap up um, is the Janome needle bundle now um, we've got these four sets of needles from Janome. You've got uh, purple tip needles. You've got uh, super stretch. You've got red tip and you've got blue tip. Now blue tip, pierce point, long groove, great multi-purpose needle for things like difficult or synthetic uh, fabrics and non-woven, um, you know, things with a hard finish. Uh, you've got they're also good for things like machine embroidery uh, you've got your red tip uh, hang on a second decorative sewing yeah things like machine embroidery you've got your purple tip someone stuck a label over all the information <laughs> a quick question Amazing, informative and persuasive as a result. Thank you, Stuart. What are the difference between this 680 plus and the 720 that John and many others have got? John's got the 680 plus, John hasn't got the 720. Um, the 680 plus is the one that I've got, John's got, a uh, few others have got. Delphine has got the 720. She was using hers earlier on. The 720 is like a semi-industrial and that has a flat bed only. It doesn't have free arm, um, things like that. I prefer, personally, I prefer the 680 plus. Um, I like having the free arm. It does a thousand stitches per minute, which is more than enough for me. Um, I think it's terrific. But yeah, John's got the 680 plus. All right. Um, we need to do the menu for tomorrow. We need to do the menu for tomorrow. Uh, so Amber makes final block of the month at eight o'clock. At nine o'clock, stencil up 
with Lorraine. Is it Lorraine Kelly? Uh, at 10 o'clock, fabulous fabrics. And then at 11 o'clock, Lorraine's back with Stencil Up. At 12 o'clock, kids, you'll love. That sounds like a great morning to me. I want to say a massive, massive thank you to you for spending my birthday morning with me. I want to thank all of the team here at Sewing Street for their wonderful love and support and cheer and good wishes as well. It's been absolutely fab. I've had such a lovely morning. Every one of you that's got in touch through Facebook, sent a message online, sent in an email, Thank you so much, everyone who's messaged me on Facebook too. I really appreciate all that love and, and support. Thank you. Um, have a wonderful rest of the day and uh, thank you for spending the day with me. I will see you next week. I'm in on the 8th and 9th. See you soon.